starting stream. Oh, okay. Interesting. So am I streaming now? Probably. Oh yeah, it's on. Cool. I'll go and pull that up. Oh, where are the comments at? Shoot, let me see again. Custom chat. Chat is going over here. Balls first. Brandy? Yeah. Okay, I, I see the chat. I can see the chat. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Sweet. Yo, archery. I'm going to post this link in the Discord. Dude, sweet. Hold on. <laughs> Dude, there's so many people in the chat already. All right, let me make sure, you know, make sure everything's good. Y'all can hear me and all that. Let me know in the comments. Oh, my. Uh, looks like everything's working so far. <laughs> Hello, it's your boy. My goodness. Dude, people joined so insanely quick. I cannot believe y'all. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm still managing the stream. I've not streamed in quite a quite a while, so. Looks like everything's working so far. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Close that. Hello, it's your boy. My goodness. Is the stream bot gonna join? I think Dude, the... people joined so insanely quick. See. I cannot believe you. <laughs> anyway, let me turn that down. Uh, I'm still managing the stream. I'm not sure. Dude, freaking. Let me see. Death reset. I'm trying to make sure the bot works for like the. Um... I'm in the game here. This is working. This is working. Very nice. Give me a second to, you know, make sure everything's on. I don't, oh, there's the bot. The bot's here, okay. Death reset. Yep. Crash reset. Okay, so that should be set to zero now. Managing the stream. I'm not... All right, let me go ahead and post this in the Discord. So many people we can get in here, that's crazy. I haven't even started yet. I am attempting to stream. <laughs> Alright, put that in the Discord. I like the videos where he talks in a deep voice. <laughs> Boom. My goodness, Brandy Boy foot reveal a win. Uh, One million. One million subs. There's so many comments, it's hard to like keep up with them. Damn. Good grief. Anyway, let's go to start a new game. Oh, give me a second. I just realized this Fallout. This is working, right? Oh, I know. Yeah, it's on blocks. Okay. Nice. Skip that. Dude, there's so many comments. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, I just realized I need to turn on the volume. Oh, we're gonna get through all this. You're gonna knock. Turn this down. I don't know why. But for some reason my audio settings always reset and it is very irritating. Please start an OnlyFans. <laughs> I'll do that uh at hundred K. How big is your feet pig hard drive? <laughs> About like two two terabytes. E sh no. Also, excuse the uh extremely bright lighting here. Don't know why, but my ENB specifically makes this scene extremely bright and is get ready and weird. Stop hogging the mirror. Look at that, look how bright it is. If you guys it's like getting flashbanged. <laughs> All right, but for this playthrough, right, I have a specific build in mind, right? And we're gonna be going with zero strength. Therefore, My turn, big guy. we play as the female. I'm gonna get canceled for that. Anyway, <laughs> or no one strength. You can't have zero strength. And of course, we get the goth grill. 
We were playing as a goth girl character. I'm pre pretty sure y'all have seen this character before in some of my mod videos. And good god. That was interesting. Okay, yeah, the entire thing just exploded on me. Good god, that was weird. This, I was literally... Okay. Okay, interesting. Let's try that again. <laughs> that's why I said I, That's why I said I'm attempting to stream. I'm attempting. Because <laughs> it just exploded on me right there. How'd that sound, like... Was it super loud or something? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Nuke mod. You have to turn the wetness off in, in I and I? Okay. Thank you. Oh, wait, I should put that down as a crash. My game will freaking launch back up. There we go. Oh. Okay, there we go. And again, I have to reset my audio settings, which is annoying. If someone if someone knows how to fix the resetting audio settings, please let me know in the stream. That'd be great. Also, I need to restart. Hold on. Video capture. I'm trying to record in the background with shadow play. Okay, there we go. Build was too strong indeed. It was loud when you left, but silence for this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my freaking game exploded. Can I go back to that? I don't know if I want to go back to that. Oh, I guess I'll start a new game again. <laughs> Look, I, I, ju I changed the... Uh... Hold on, I need to go into my... YouTube and put in Crash. First Crash already. Didn't even... Didn't even get out of the, the, the starting room. That's funny. So I, I changed the load order on the start me up mod. I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. But literally, I, I I did like a test playthrough right before I started this stream and everything worked just fine. And then I load up the game again and it just <laughs> explodes on me. So that's cool. Goth grill was too much for the game to handle. <laughs> no, I'm not using reactor. I'm using a, 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 a PRCX. So you get for playing the goat girl for real. Yes. Can I turn? I'll turn this off for a second, just because it's like extremely overbearing. Okay, let's see if I get flashbanged again. Absolutely. I will. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Oh wait, hold up! Before we do that, let's change him to be the Chad. <laughs> it's just, it never gets old, dude. It's so funny. It's so funny. My turn, big guy. He looks so serious, but it's so goofy. This right here, this is the perfect couple. This is the perfect couple. You can't convince me otherwise. Anyway. Okay. Did not get flashed. However...
Oh my. Yeah, that's really weird. Okay. Here, let me go to the, let me go here. Someone said it was uneducated uneducated shooter. I might be running an old version. I probably forgot to update it. You couldn't hear me that whole time? You should be able to hear me now. Okay. It's back. You're back. Dude, this is... I've never had this happen before. Literally right before... I, it's only because I started the stream. It's cursed. I'm gonna have to freaking... I just realized the text... The chat box has black text. On like on the stream, it's black text. I might want to change that to like white. The CTD hex is real, indeed. When we get flashbang, the audio vanishes. Okay. Uneducated shooter got an update, of course. Okay, I'll probably have to download that. Be a good idea. This is the weirdest. Look, I can go to my. I can go to this save. Like, I'll, let's go to this save. One of these saves. This will work just fine. I mean, I could. Oh, wait, I, I forgot. I need to increase the crash counter again. <laughs> need to increase that. Okay, give me a second. Crash. There we go. I'm still. Let me go back to the game overlay. So, like, this works just fine. This is. Uh, Freaking audio. Yeah, I was literally testing this out. I was running around for a little bit, doing the whole bow thing. It was working good. So. It is El Of course it's El There's only one bow mod on the Nexus. That's actually good. I'm going to be using... Okay, for this playthrough, right? I'm going to be using the L-string bow, obviously. I'm going to cheat for a second just so you can see the other one. As well as the crossbow. I'm carrying too much because I have one strength. <laughs> Let me add some of these. So I'm only allowed to use either a crossbow or a regular bow. There's a there's a gecko in the road. I hit him. Oh, I forgot I have floating damage enabled. I should probably disable that. I was using that for testing purposes. Did I miss that? Let me shoot him right in the face. Oh, he's running at me. I can't. Okay, bye. Let me just do some... Did that... What is that thing? Oh, it's a gulper. Dude, he just do You seem to just dodge that? What a beast. He's running away. I don't even know what the drop is on this thing. I can't even tell. Let me see. I can just shoot like this. I can't. See I cannot see the arrow. Or the bull, I should say. Why would you disable more things on screen? What? I'm, I'm missing a lot of the comments here. I'm too distracted. Anyway. So, yeah, there's the gist of it. Th these animations are actually pretty solid, too. Really fun to play. Oh, see? I can see the arrow on that just fine. What about this crossbow? That's, like, invisible. It's not hit scan. Oh, wait, is the... Oh, I can see it. Okay. AI perfect dodge. <laughs> no, like, it's not a hit scan, right? Because if I aim right at its foot... Oh, okay. It still took a second to get... The oh, wait, wait. You know what I can do to test it? Or no, I don't have to spawn an enemy. So you can see it. It's really fast, though. I did buff it a little bit. Oh, that's too slow. <laughs> that's too slow. Is it going to shoot? There we go. See, you can see it's not a hit scan. That would be ridiculous. So, but no, let's do a little bit slower than that. 
Let's follow it. See how f Oh my, it's still super fast. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> See the line, Brandy? Which line? The It's Your Boy Brandy Boy line? Who's Gus? Gustavo? Is this a reference to a TV show, maybe? <laughs> it only happens at startup. Turn wetness off to fix it. Okay. Are you talking about the ENB, right? I can just turn off the ENB. It's like during the startup. You know. I love paycheck to stealth dodge build. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the main menu and start a new game. I could start it on... This character, I guess, actually. But oh, I want to go through like the vault with y'all. Say that line. Wait. Which line? Gus firing line? I don't get it. Breaking. It's a Breaking Bad reference. Okay. Oh, so I've not watched Breaking Bad. Sorry, you guys can roast me in the comments now. <laughs> Feel free to roast me for not watching the best TV show ever made. Okay, back to main menu. Right. Start a new game. Right? Yes, of course. Oh! No wetness off in normal Fallout 4 and I? I and I? What if... You think... So are you saying that the, the wetness I and I is causing the crash? Or is that just causing the high brightness? Let's see how fast this like response time is between chat and me. Yes. Gonna knock him dead yes. Oh, wait. No, I don't care. Uh, if you say it, I will explode on the My Little Pony jar. <laughs> no, wait. Is it? Oh, say it's the itch. Yeah. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Brandy Boy. Back at it again with another Fallout stream. And for this stream, we're going to be figuring out how to play Fallout 4 without it exploding into a flashbang. There you go. Absolutely. Uh, I will have fun with the gun, even though it's a Cazador missile launcher. It's not a gun. It's an explosive device. Actually, it's not a, it's not a firearm. Okay. Press X for sex. Yes, please. Okay. Will Goth Grill flashbang the game again? Is it? Because I've never had this happen before. Oh. 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 I made it! I made it! Maybe it was an uneducated shooter. What? That makes no sense. How was it... How was that crashing my game? I like how people were typing X in chat. <laughs> X for sex. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to spawn into the little cryopod thing. Stop spamming X in chat. <laughs> if you don't break your game within five minutes of starting a new game, you ain't modding it right. Those are very true words, Suburban. Dude, this chat is being spammed so hard with the letter X. Oh, it got, a, it got an update on February 13th. Okay, that explains. Okay. I don't know how that... It's it, it's always so interesting how sometimes the... Those mods can just... The, dude, this just stops! I need, to, I need to enable some kind of feature that stops people from spamming. I, there's like no moderation on this chat. <laughs> now this is what true anarchy looks like. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, before I go any further... I should probably change the overlay, right? Because the overlay has black text. And I don't like it. I didn't realize it was black. Not that there's anything wrong with like black. It's just, you know, it's just kind of hard to read. You know, anyway. How do I change that? Text settings. White. I think that'll work better because it's, like, it's kind of like a dark gray background. So, will that update immediately? Oh, that just wiped the chat actually. 
Oh no, there we go. Is that better? Can you all see the difference now? Actually, wait, there's some kind of like weird like... Wait, I don't want a shadow. Is that better? Okay, I, I think I'm just screwing up my overlay now. <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> what, I'm, I'm talking about the text! What do you mean? White text just goes better on a dark background. <laughs> it still has like this weird... Um, trying to get rid of the stroke. Oh, that's why. Let's, let's just get rid of the stroke entirely. Is that better? <laughs> I like how Joseph Stahl is just typing in Russian. I think, wait, why is the text black again? I'm so confused. I'm just screwing it up even worse. Oh, wait a second. I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe I'll just make it black again. Maybe I can do like a white background then. Because I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Oh, wait a second. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, I see. I see. I got it now. I could do red text? I could do green text? Oh no! I'll just do white. Okay, I see. I was accidentally making. I, I got it. I got it flipped. I I did it to where like the the back the the stroke was white, and the text is black. So that's why it was confusing. Okay, I think I fixed it now. It looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, that looks so much better. It's very readable now. Let, let me know what you guys think. Also, I cannot see. It is pitch black in here. So yes. For the build, one strength. Because we don't need it. Which is actually unrealistic. Because you do need to be, you know, kind of strong to use a bow. At least decently strong, you know. Especially if it's like a big old war bow. But we're using 70 pound bow. Decent perception. Uh, we're, we are going to be a stealth archer, so... One intelligence. Good luck. Luck is good for the, like a uh, like this build is going to be relying quite a bit on the VAS system, not VATS because VATS is lame. One strength, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> it's, it, that's gonna be that's gonna be an extra challenge, right? Because uh, I usually rely on strength just to carry around a bunch of junk. But I don't need. I really don't need strength because like the bow has no noodle arms. Yeah, for real. But I'm gonna be going full on stealth as much as I can. Because that's like the whole ch the whole challenge is to be like trying to be a stealth archer. Which is like, quick, make a Skyrim joke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So basically, right? I've made the game. It, it, it's like Skyrim, but with guns. But without the guns. So it's just like Skyrim, because I'm going to be a stealth archer. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you need more endurance than... Well, like, it depends on the bow, I guess. But yeah, you definitely need to have some good endurance. But I'm going to have endurance... For like, you know, extra health. Stuff like that. And the, the health perks. But there you go. That's pretty much one strength, one charisma, one intelligence. <laughs> also, is my mic too loud? I can see, like, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the red quite often, actually. Who's typing in Chinese? Is this some kind of propaganda? <clears throat> Set the name to Blind Archer? No. No. Kring Archer. Because I'm Kring. Uh, so I'm like, oh yeah, we need to think of a name. Think of a name very quick. Think of a name we need to do. Skyrim. But it's Fallout 4. Exactly. <laughs> Just join the stream. What up, my guy? Uh, we are currently trying to figure out a name. I'm waiting on chat to catch up. I don't know how long, how far behind the chat is. Is that actually a bot spamming in Chinese or is that a person just copy-pasting? I don't know. It's your boy Archer. Fane doll. 
Dude, these chats are going by so quick. How many people do we even have in this stream right now? John Stealth Archer. <laughs> this is the same video. I fucking love that. Can you <laughs> it's like naming your character John Fallout. But yeah. Not so stealthy archer. I think I think we're gonna go with Kring Archer. Cringe Kring Archer, because being an archer is cringe. Like if you play any game that has like melee combat but also archers. Everyone just hates on the archers. Anyway, I'll just go with that. No need to sit here and delay. We need to actually get into the game. Oh god, I can't see. Yeah, I got a mod installed which makes interiors extremely dark. I think this might be a little bit too dark though. Because there's literally a light bulb right there and it's not doing anything. But it's very immersive. I can't see where I'm going. Oh god. Alright, and for this, I won't get a bow until I get to Red Rocket, so I'm just going to run out of the vault without killing them roaches. I am recording. Yeah, this is recording still. Let's see if we get any... No, there's pretty much no loot in here. Ah! Let's get jump scared by a rad roach. This my game is... Not performing very well right now. It is pitch black in here. Ooh. Goodbye. Give me that. Oh no, he made it. Okay, no, he didn't make it through. I will, however, pick up the stuff to sell. Yes. Delays a good 30 seconds. That's not too bad. I did try to set it to where, um, like lower, lower latency or lower delay. I mean, yeah, Vault 111 one runs on Windows Vista. Yeah, I had the uh, <laughs> I, I love, I just love little, like, little goofy mods like that, like the Windows startup noise. It's just, it's just funny. You know? Get out of here. Oh yeah, I gotta trap these. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I can't even... Ow! My game is actually kinda lagging. Oh, uh, what? Dude, this roach is lagging my game. How did he make it through there? Okay, get back over here. This is super laggy for some reason. Okay, I think I got him that time. Good grief. Oh, I forgot that one. Okay, let's go through this one. Come over here. Come on. Haha. -ha. Did he I hate this game. I'm going to die. From these roaches. It also doesn't help that I can't see. Until I pick up Oh my god, he made it through again. This is the hardest hack hardest task in the whole game. I can't even see the door! I need to uninstall this mod. <laughs> I cannot see where I'm going. Holy shit. Okay, let's try this. I'm also out of action points. Is there like another... Oh, let's, yeah, let's bring him back here. Let's bring him back here. Whoop. Yeah, that, that was a Chad Roach. Sheesh. I have to sit here and wait. Also, is my, my audio... Yeah, that's right. Okay. But I have to go wait over here for this to cool off. Yeah. 
You gotta body block them? Okay. Third person. Does third person make it better? Where's this gonna go away? You know what? I just realized I did not set my settings here. I need to, I need to fix this. I need to set these. Oh, that just reset the sneak thing, I think. What the heck? No way. Oh, no, never mind. This is the funnest part about doing weapon restricted runs. Is you need to just sit here and wait for like five minutes for the rad roaches to stop chasing you. Ooh. Wait, okay, there we go. It says caution. Yeah, I just gotta wait over a few seconds. state-of-the-art bunker has some of the worst lights, yeah. I think this is from the Enhanced Lights and Effects mod. It's a little bit too dark. It is... Like, I can't even see the staircase. Where is it? Good lord, yeah. I just realized I left that open. Whoopsie. It's also kind of annoying that you can't pick up the pit boy until you, um... Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for... Wow. Until you, you can't pick up the pit boy until you're out of combat, which is kind of stupid. This looks like Metro. That's the point, because Metro actually has good aesthetics. Unlike Fallout. <laughs> For real though, Metro is aesthetic as fuck. Hurry up. Alright. Obviously, we're going to level up Sneak. Duh. Probably... And then uh, medicine is very important, so I can heal. And then besides that, I mean... Survival. Can't really think of anything else I need. Don't think we're going to be need needing pistols and rifles. Unless the bo I wonder if the bows are actually tied to, like... The rifle skill, maybe. That'd be interesting. But yeah, we'll go with that for now. Can't go wrong. Kring Archer. <laughs> also, I need to reset... The strength stat real quick, actually. I spelled strength wrong. So that it sets my carry weight correctly. Is it already set correctly? Maybe it is. Okay, wow, 40 carry weight. That is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Good God. Is this running to be turned into a video? Yeah, I'm, I'm recording it right now, too. Turn it into a video later. I decided I'll go ahead and... Um, you know, might as well, since I'm going to be playing through the game, I can stream it at the same time. Although I will admit, this will take up a little bit more time since I'll be chatting with y'all, but that's okay, because that's more fun. Oh, I forgot to- I forgot to open the vault! Whoopsie! What mod causes that special screen? That's- that's from Be Exceptional. It's a perk mod. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now finally, my freaking flashlight works so I can see in the dark. Yeah, I saw someone comment, like, like in quotes, um, <laughs> enhanced lighting. Yeah, <laughs> it's just pitch black. Oh, it looks kind of dramatic, you know, it looks very cinematic, so. Wow, it's very cool. The tablet has Apple Pay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's actually funny. Yeah, you just like you just hover the pad over like the vault, the, the vault thingy, and it works, which is funny. Ninety percent sure the L string bow uses railway rifle physics. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it works just like. Yeah, because the the railway the railway rifle <laughs> it's hard to say ten times fast. Cause th that actually has like a moving projectile, unlike all the other vanilla guns. Those are all hit scans. Anyway. Yeah, we're finished here. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank Mr. Brandy, where can I get your katana? That is from the Cyber Out seventy seven mod. That adds in all the, the cool katanas. Mr. Grin said he got a new PC with an RTX 3060. That's dope.
congratulations on the on the upgrade. You can actually play Fallout now. Let's see if we can actually make it through the uh, the loading screen. <laughs> Loading screens are deadly. Especially since, like, my computer is, like, trying to stream at the same time. Like, I, I can already tell, like, it, because, I, like I said, I was doing a, a test run. Seems like my performance is already worse because I'm trying to stream at the same time. There we go. Yeah, that's a really long loading screen. That was long. Owie. It's not a bad thing. I guess during the loading screens I can like rechat and stuff. I like how it just instantly turns to depression mode. <laughs> it was nice and bright and the weather just changes to overcast. Cool. Uh, no. 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 I hate this. Yes. Gonna sit here for like 10 minutes and... Okay, I think I can go now. Also... I do have this weird ass bug. I'll go and quick save here, right? I get this weird bug. Can y'all see the frame rate counter? Or no, I don't think y'all can. But yeah, I get this weird, like this weird frame bug whenever I start a new game, my frame rate's dog, dog water until I restart my game, so... I'll have to restart my game really quick, actually. Like, restart it entirely. To get my glorious 100 FPS. So give me just a second here. I must restart the game. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was I already relaunched the game, but I can enable uneducated shooter later. That's a lot of subscribes, wow. Still working? Yeah. Discord link is dead, is it? Oh shoot, I guess I'll have to fix that. <laughs> I wonder how long it's been dead for. Okay, there we go, we're back in. Okay, now this is epic. And yep, now we're at a nice, pristine 130 FPS there. That's a very weird bug. And also, I'm not sure if anyone told me how to fix the audio resetting. But I'll try and catch it this time if y'all know how to fix that. Now, where will you find the bow? Will you see? Oh my god, this looks like I'm playing... The, like, a, like a horror game. Look at this. This is... This is just pure depression. Very fitting tone for the goth grill. Literally looks like I'm gonna play like the Whispering Hills mod. This is just so depressing weather. POV London, right? <laughs> but yeah, the bow, the bow's at Red Rocket. Oh wait. I just remember there's a snake in the way. This is from the Mutant Menagerie mod, you can see him over there. Where, why is my flashlight not working? My flashlight's not turning on. Oh god. What? Why not? Okay. Yeah, there's a snake right there, so I gotta shimmy around that snake. Skirt! Oh. That, that didn't happen anyway. It's all part of the plan. Let's see. I should probably also heal. I know there's bandages. Dude. Very depressing. Nicest place in Birmingham. <laughs> there's a snake on my bridge. Yeah, we can go back and kill him though. It's very convenient that this mod author to just give you the bow right there. But I mean, that's nice, because it's a starting weapon. It's not supposed to be overpowered. Just a wood a wood bow, you know. Let's go ahead and take that. That's where you get your free gas mask. Stim packs, all that good stuff. 
Yes, I want to claim the settlement. Wait. Whatever. My carry weight is abysmal. Oh my lord. 40. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I get the free backpack. If you install the Creation Club backpack, it gives you a free backpack when you start the game. Wow. I'm not, I don't think that's how you holster a bow correctly. But anyway. Open your tag tablet, then try to turn the flashlight on. Oh, wow. This dude's just a genius. What's with the karate chop running? Oh, that's from a, that's from a mod. I don't know, I think it's neat. <laughs> like, I will admit, it does look a little bit robotic. It does, if I'm if we're being real. These animations are kind of stiff. But they are animations. They are the animations of all time, I must say. You know. One million dollar property in California. <laughs> are you kidding me? It would be it'd be like you just have a cardboard box on the beach. That'd be a million dollars. Anyway. I'm trying to reach out here, but there's so many comments, good lord. You know, I didn't get to see how many how many people do we even have in chat right now? Or have on like Get people pinging me on Discord, bro. Chill, I'm trying to stream. Where am I? Okay, there we go. About 200 viewers right now? That's dope. That's a lot. Sheesh. Anyway. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Brandy found the nicest house in Birmingham. <laughs> oh, there's dog. Dog meat. Yeah, I'll go ahead and okay, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna greet sort of a flea bag. This should give you negative karma if you say this. Like, come on now, you want to come with me, pal? This is the only acceptable option. Yes. Where the bandages at? Need to crash. Oh wait, I will have to talk to him to keep him here, because I think for this run I'll just like, make it to where, um... Uh... Uh, I was gonna say something. Make it to where there's no companions. Just, because sometimes companions will like, mess up your stealth too, so... Like, you ever be running around? Like, have you, have you ever seen that meme with like, dog meat? And you're like, you're like in the basement of Jamaica Plain? And dog meat just runs into all like twenty lasers at once. Just There's someone's gonna know what I'm talking about. It's a good meme. My carry weight is so abysmal. <laughs> twenty six arrows. I wonder if that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna quick save here. Hmm. Dirty water. Whoa, that healed a lot. Is that bugged? That water just healed way too much. I thought I nerfed that. Hmm. It says, okay. It says point f point, oh wait, point four? Point four HP for however many seconds that is, 200 seconds? How much HP is that in total? Point. That's 80 HP, that's what? I need to nerf that. That is way too overpowered. Water should not be healing that much. Must be a mistake I made. Oh, we'll worry about it later. I just got free health there. Uh, not cheating, by the way. It's just a bug. Fuck, oh, I about the mole rats. Also, I need to disable floating damage. That's not very immersive. Oh god, I missed. Get away. You just tank that. Ooh. Woo. The geckos look so silly when they run like that. <gasps> Dog has got hurt. Where is he? Zero calorie water. Yes. I don't know where they put they put in that water, man. More than just fluoride and microplastics, that's for sure. Where did Dogmeat even go, dude? 
I just see a mole rat's jaw fly through the bushes. <laughs> and dog meat runs away. He, he just ripped the jaw off that, that, that mole rat. <laughs> he was so hard that it flung through the... Where is it at? Dude, that was so far. Look, yeah, he doesn't bite. <laughs> he doesn't bite. Good boy. Anyway. So, I'm gonna put that down in my notes. Nerf water. Uninstall floating damage. Reinstall uneducated shooter. Maybe I should do that right now, actually. Quick save. Do you get extra bash damage from stabbing them? You get a little bit of bash damage. I, I, I didn't make sure. I made sure it wasn't overpowered. The water is a feature. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Healing in like in the vanilla game, right? If you drink water, you can heal pretty like a lot of like a lot of health. But I, tr I personally nerfed it for my game because I don't want, you know, because it's not very immersive to just drink water and heal all your wounds instantly. Am I right? So give me a second. I'm gonna go. Un I'm gonna go install the new version of Uneducated Shooter real quick. On edge, because I'm going to be using it because it is very useful, especially since it's going to be stealthy, hiding behind cover, and all that good stuff. Yeah, I was running this. Yeah, I was running this older version that came out in June, like last year. That's why. Also, I should probably change this over to the desktop overlay. Alright, so this is the version I just installed. Uneducated, yeah. No, wait, that's Uneducated Reload. I don't have that one installed right now. It's this one. I just downloaded that one. Give me a second here. Yeah, make sure that's the one. That's definitely the one, okay. And I will adjust the settings. Uh, toggle lean? Right? Lean cost, right? Changes all to one. No, wait, I won't. Inertia is disabled by default, right? How do I disable the inertia? I think I just put this to zero. I think. Is it. I think that's how you configure it. It would be nice if this just had like an MCM menu, but whatever. That's, that's just how it works. So uh, let's just save that. I think I think that's how it works. Uh, for this playthrough, I didn't even think about who I'm going to join. Uh, oh yeah. Floating damage needs to get uninstalled. And also... I need to nerf water. Because I said I was going to nerf water. So we might as well do that. And it might be coming from... Because I changed up my load order. It might be coming from give me that bottle. Which overwrites some records on the water probably. Bro said holy cannoli when he saw my mod list. <laughs> <laughs> might be from that. Or the patch. Let me see. Darker interiors. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I should probably... I might uninstall that one. So let's see. This is overriding. Where's water at? Oh god. Yeah, that's restoring a lot of health. Look at that. It's 30 HP. Which one was it coming from? It was like the regular purified water? This is only 10 HP, so that's fine. Let's just do that to one. It's just that one? Because most of this water is only restoring like 5 or 10 HP, which is fine. Just a, you know, little bit. I don't know where it's at. Maybe I'll find it later. It's not a huge deal. I honestly don't know what I'm doing half the time when I'm modding my stuff. I have no clue. Wait. Oh. Uh, is it this one? Maybe. 
Ah, uh, there it is, I think. They've restored 40 HP. I always like to make sure, like, food and drink only restores, like, 5 or 10 HP. Just, like, a little bit. Like, I don't want to get rid of it entirely. Like, it should still be there. But not be healing, like, your entire health bar if you get shot with riddled with bullets. Okay, I think that's I think that's what was causing the problem. Those two right there, probably. Anyway, yeah, my mod, my mod list is an absolute mess right now, dude. I'm surprised my game runs. <laughs> I've not sorted my mod list in so long. I just threw all these mods together in my load order, and it works. Don't ask. It just works. <laughs> I'm a bad man, dude. But yeah, I think for this playthrough, I might side... I think it makes sense to side with the Railroad, because they're, like, all stealthy. But, like, the Railroad is stupid, like, super lame, so... I don't know. You know, I've been, I've never actually finished the game with the Railroad. <laughs> like, I've done their quest before, right? Where, like, I'll go to their quest just to get some of their stuff, just, like, try it out. But, like, I never ended the game with the Railroad, because they're just, like, the stupidest faction. <laughs> How many mods do I have? I got... Right now, it's about 700-something that are in my game. I bet Brandy Boy lives in Texas. Bro, how'd you know? That's crazy. When I have said it... Oh, I forgot to uninstall the darker interior mod, but whatever. I might, I, I'll probably just keep it. <laughs> Don't worry, a lot of us ba have barely functioning mod lists as well. <laughs> okay. I keep on. I, I haven't. I haven't caught anyone who's who's told me how to fix this issue just yet. But keep on spamming it until I see it. On how to like keep the audio from changing every time you start start a new game or reload the game, I should say. Get that off. Dude, you're just so depressing out here. How do I wait? Wait. I don't even know what time it is. It feels like it's 8 p.m. I need a build bed. Still recording, right? Yeah, it's still recording. That's good. Let me craft, please. Am I pressing the wrong button? There we go. Oh, it's 4 p.m. Okay. Good lord. You know, I think we're going to roll with it, though. This is cool. Before we go, let's craft some more. I can craft some of these arrows. Hmm. You know, I'll just I'll just craft the basic ones for now. That's a good amount of arrows for now. Never show that again, please. That is very annoying. You got ten forty nineties? No, I just got one. But even with the forty ninety man, like this game still still kind of struggles in some areas. This is... Can you guys even see the game? Like, dude, it is so dark. Like, from my perspective, like, yeah, this is super immersive. Like, wow, it's so dark. But, like, if you're just watching this on a stream, like... Um, this is even enjoyable. Like, can you even see what's going on? Hold on. This is the first enemy we shall stealth attack in the game. The Mantis. It didn't even kill him. What a tank. I missed. I have to calculate uh, the velocity. Ha! <laughs> Got him. That was a great success, I do say. Where'd that mantis go. Honestly, we can just roll. Oh wait, there's plenty of like little things I could, like I didn't even loot sanctuary at all, right? There's plenty of little things I can go and loot. Hold on. Ah, dang, I'm trying to get me some dinner. Let me smoke. Oh, that was close. That was close, though. That chicken just bolted. It looks like Fallout 3. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because it's dark and depressing and has that HUD. The same HUD. I cannot lie. The Fallout 3 HUD is beautiful. Where 
Where's this? There's like an ammo box over here. <gasps> Dinner. Beautiful. Oh. This game is gonna be like when it, I'm, I'm gonna do a horror playthrough at some point again. I did to do it before, but I want to do it again. Like this, this is already set up for a horror playthrough. All I gotta do is just install the Whispering Hills mod. And it's good to go. Everyone's saying it's your boy Brandy Boy, but not how's your boy Brandy Boy? <laughs> this dude said, "What's your boy Brandy Boy? Who's your boy Brandy Boy?" Where is your boy Brandy Boy? Already, bro. My carry weight is nearing its maximum. That's a lot of meat. So if I drink this water now, right? Yeah, okay, that. Yeah, I fixed it. See? It just gives me a tiny boost of health. Like, nothing crazy, though. Just a tiny bit. That's how it should be. I'm in combat for some reason. Good lord. Imagine trying to plug this without a flashlight. That'd be impossible. I think my time skill is set to like 8. So if I don't go to sleep, right? I should probably just go ahead and go to sleep at this point. Good grief. Oh, my time skill is set to 20. I didn't... Wait a second. Oh, no, these settings actually didn't change. What the hell? Yeah, look. Hold on. That's weird. Let me, let me change it again real quick. Because that's really important for the gameplay. Right? Okay, now... Yeah. That's how it should be. Game world. Okay. Time. Time scale zero. What? No. That's not right. Okay, I'm just making sure this is all good. Uh, yes. Looks fine, okay. It's on 15. So if we go back to the carry weight thing, right? Anyway, I was just making sure. Okay, yeah, th yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay. But oh lord, it's just so dark. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and go over to Concord now. I'm stuck in this car. It's just extra spooky. There's a rat storm coming in. <laughs> Good lord. My- My mask is on! I love that. My mask is on, dude. I hate this. I don't know why that didn't- Could I change that? Some of these mods have a hard time. Um, where's this even at? I don't know. Some mods like that just don't- the settings don't save correctly. Oh, cha-ching! What we got here? Ethan Rogers. Send in five dollars. Thank you very much, Ethan. He said, would you be open to PvP? Where one player makes one faction an army and another raiders to attack. Only curious, because unique idea and content. What do you mean, like... You're saying PvP as in, like, a multiplayer game. But, like, in the context of Fallout 4. But, like, that's like Fallout 76 kind of stuff, so. Open to PvP where one player makes. Are you talking about for, like, as just an. I I'm just trying to see what you're trying to get at. Where one player makes one faction an army. I don't know. Elaborate, please. Elaborate, please. Elaborate. I would like to see where you're going with that idea. 
Anyway, let me turn all this down so I don't <laughs> turn into a ghoul immediately. Good lord. I just ate so much radiation right there. It's all good, though. You know, this will be fun. Going through Conquered as the Radstorm rolls through. It's cool. This is... My bow's invisible. <laughs> Such a weird bug. Gotta re-equip it. Yeah. I just realized I'm on the... Uh, let me go to that. The in-game overlay. Is it working? Wait. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, it sounds like Fallout Online. Yeah. Are you saying like... So basically like a Fallout game... A, F a Fallout multiplayer game, but like... It's not Fallout 76, but it's better. <laughs> Cause we saw how it worked out with Fallout 76. Look at this loser. Oh! I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> Look at his head just blew off from the arrow. No, that's a, no. Surprisingly, like, um, none of my videos have been demonetized for gore. But you know, my last video, I played it safe anyway. All right, where's the white menu? There it is. There's the white button. Trying to see if there was a response to that earlier. There was a mod that lets multiplayer... Yeah, 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 that, okay. He's talking about the multiplayer mod for Fallout 4. I... Is that even, like... Has that been fully released just yet? I've seen it before. But that would be... I mean, that would, that would be cool, like... If I, if I can get to play, like, the Fallout multiplayer mod, right? And, like, you know, I get some friends to play with me, right? And... You know, like they're doing the whole scenario, right? Kind of, it'd be kind of like Rust, something like that, where they're attacking my base. And I gotta defend. Is that what you, is that what you're getting at? Because that, that sounds like a fun idea. You know, it's like Fallout 76, but I actually just do it good this time, right? <laughs> That'd be great. Ow! It's gonna. This dude is so tanky for no reason. Never mind. <laughs> Not with an arrow right to the dome. Yeah, he just shot me right in the arm with a 308 pipe gun. <laughs> that hurt. I think I still... Yeah, I still have it to where stim packs heal limbs, though. Makes it somewhat easier. Like... What is that? Why is it so loud? The gecko. Look at this arrow. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. It kind of nicked it. That's some glorious- No! Okay, no. It's literally not even touching the wall whatsoever. Yeah, guys. Fallout 4 has good hitboxing, by the way. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> Sneak attack. Oh, yeah, baby. You ever tried Fallout 1 and 2? Would be easier to get into Fallout Online if you have. Wait, is there actually a Fallout Online? I'm confused. Is there like a Fallout Online mod for the older Fallouts? I'm confused. But no, I've, I've not played Fallout 1 or 2 yet. I'd really like to at some point. I just haven't gone around to it. Where'd that gecko go? He just disappeared. Good, good grief. This is very apocalyptic. I do so. Oh, he has a freaking. Oh yeah, I forgot. I installed this this mod. This mod's pretty neat. It's literally, bro, it's literally like Warzone. <laughs> bro, he got the Warzone plate. And what's funny, right, is I can... I can put it on. It literally has... Oh, wait. One of you crouch, like the animation messes up, but... It literally has, like, a very similar animation to Warzone, too, which is funny. I'm not even wearing an armor vest. So I don't know where it went. He kind of just stuck it into my vault suit. But it works. Okay, I think it's time to actually save Preston Garvey over here. That missed. Nice. Where's this dude at? He's just- he didn't even react! <laughs> Boy, that missed somehow with the- There we go. That was easy. 
This is what Fallout should look like. Look at this. This is beautiful. Extremely depressing, but beautiful. Hmm. I hear something over there. Oh. There's a deer. How'd that miss? Give me my meat! You will not escape me. This is how you hunt. <laughs> this is how you hunt in Massachusetts, boy! Yee! <laughs> my arrow disappeared, too. What's that? Oh. oh. I missed. What is he... What is he aiming at? Hold on. What are you aiming at over here? You got that BDSM gas mask. What the? Oh, oh, oh I am. <laughs> yeah, guys, Fallout 4 has good AI. <laughs> Why is this exploder just standing still? My game is like so bugged right now. <laughs> He's still alive. Dude, this dude's a tank. Oh. I'm glad I was not close to him. Ooh. Damn. Are these ghouls bugged out? Wait, let's see. He can see me, right? Hello? Hey. Oh! Perfect. That was beautiful. Okay. It seems like they're having a hard time, like, finding me. Like, the ghouls are kind of dumb. I need to buy my gas mask. Also, I'm... <laughs> Look how much radiation I'm eating right now. Do I have Radak? Or Radaway? No, I don't even have any Radaway right now. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a ghoul, dude. Hey, this dude in the comments just said... <laughs> Human comments realistic teeth is not compatible with Fallout London. I repeat, not compatible. <laughs> That's a deep joke. That's a good one. Or really not that deep. Like, everyone knows about the meme, but... You could have some knowledge of the meme. That is not a laser musket. That is a laser garen. Oh my god, that is... That is destroying my ears. I need to turn that, turn that down. Also, I should probably heal. Right? Oh no, I already had a good... I can't even tell because the radiation... I should probably go find some red eggs soon. Or red... Red away. Same thing. Oh, great. This is the fun part. Oh. Normal. Normal. Uh, yes. I should probably at some point remove this stuff from the game, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Yes, I would like to add the honey badger to the game. Yes, yes. Why do mod authors even do this? Please, what is the re- I think I already have this replacing the hunting rifle. I'll go and do it anyway, I guess. Yes. Uh, no. No. Normal. Yes. Oh god. This is what happens when you install 100 gun mods. Half of them have these stupid little pop-ups that are like, how, do you, how would you like to install the mod? Like, bitch. Go away, I'm trying to play the game. And it always happens at the worst moments too, like right when I'm trying to... Every single time I enter the Museum of Freedom, because there's like, these mods have it to where like, you have to get to a certain location for them to trigger. Yes, yes, yes. And you just sit here for like 20 minutes configuring all of these mods. Because apparently the mod authors did not work together to be like, Hey, do you think if someone started a new game, do you think it'd be annoying if they had to, you know, configure like 25 gun mods while they're trying to fight some raiders? Like, no, that's fine. Let's just, let's just go with it. Okay. <laughs> I'm still trash. <laughs> okay. Missed. 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 Miss, it's shooting the, hitting the damn floorboards. Okay, I'll get I'll get to him later. I don't even know why I'm saving Preston. I, just, I don't know. It's just like an easy little early game area, so I can level up. I missed. Woo! Woo! Oh. Let's just keep on, bro. Haha! -ha. I outsmarted him. There's a lot of ammunition, dang. Oh, 
Well, I just realized if I try and kill the death claw, I'm gonna have to do it with a bow. Oh lord, that'd be brutal. And also for this playthrough, I'm also like another rule is no power armor. Because you're not gonna be stealthy, right? So no power armor, no companions. Uh, what else? Bows only. I can use the bash, obviously, with the bow. But I can't use fists, no melee weapons, just the bow. Or the crossbow, either one. I don't think I'm gonna have enough arrows to kill the death claw, actually. I might wanna just kill these dudes and then run away. <laughs> Come back later. Also, I can level up now. <laughs> the characters are cool. Uh, let's get that up a little bit. Level up only snake, that's all we need. Ninja. Yeah, let's go and just level up ninja twice. I will quick save. <laughs> Have your tea back, you jack and apes! This is a classic line. Oh, that was beautiful. Huh, must have been the wind. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Get away from me. Oh, I just nailed his head to the wall. That's beautiful. Give my arrow back. That's actually a really good, like, doing the bash, right? It staggers them, and you get a free shot on them. It's beautiful. Oh, I nailed his head to the wall, too. That's dope. Obviously, that's not super realistic, but it's cool. It is so dark in here. I like this MCX. Anyway. I need new Coca-Cola. Oh, that's empty. It sounds like things are way too loud. No, they're fine. Okay. Where'd they go? Oh, hello. Wall. Nice. That was beautiful. I like how dumb the NPCs are. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a lot more arrows if I want to kill this death claw, so I might come back later. Like I was bald ass head, just nailed to the floorboard. <laughs> it's brutal. Get my arrows back. Also, uh, could really use some right away. Hmm. Play like your Garrett from Thief, complete stealth. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and beat stealthy as I can. You know, I'm not gonna make it to where like. I'm obligated to use stealth in every single scenario, right? Because that would just be kind of dumb. But obviously using stealth is going to be very advantageous for this build. Because bringing a bow to a gunfight... You know, we, we saw what happened with the Native Americans, so you, you know. You gotta, be, you gotta be very tactful. Is that a word? Tactful? You gotta be very strategic. You gotta ambush. Can't just run in their bows blazing. See what I did there? Instead of guns blazing, I said bows blazing. You know. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use stealth as much as I can because uh, obviously I'm gonna have to if I want to survive. See, I'm I'm actually gonna go back and craft some more arrows because probably not gonna it's brutal. Probably not gonna be able to kill the death claw with only 20 arrows. Don't talk to Preston. You get settled. Yeah, yeah okay, that's fair. I would do. I do want to kill that death claw though. That'd be fun. <laughs> see, I need to get some water. And some right away. That'd be great. How much is this effect? I'm using the classic right away mod right now, or classic radiation mod right now. So. I'm not gonna die like if I max out on radiation, but I will have some bad effects though. Like, it's already affecting my endurance, my perception. Or no, that's just from thirsty. Okay, where's it at? Maybe you just can't see it. I don't know. Should be affecting me. Hmm. Maybe you have to like wait a while, right? I forgot how the mod works. I don't know. But I do not lose health simply from taking radiation, which is nice because that is very annoying, especially when you only have, you know. 
100 or so HP. <laughs> I think it's funny that this guy mentioned Rambo, right? Because <laughs> Rambo with the bow in that one movie. Because in this mod, you, you can craft explosive arrows. So once I can start crafting explosive arrows, things will start getting a lot more fun. <laughs> a little bit easier, too. So, yeah. Mmm. What a beautiful day outside to cook some meat. Dude, where's the rat stack at? I know it. There it is. You know what? I can do this. Big brain. Mmm, tasty. This rat storm is just gnawing away. Maybe it's time to go to sleep. I'm gonna take a nice nap in this rat storm if you don't mind me. Me, 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 me. Think you can take on the predator? This build, yeah. If I if my my nuclear arrows, I'm gonna have to craft those later. That'll that'll be fun. Crafting like when whenever I get to the explosive arrows on the nuke arrows, <laughs> that'll be fun. Time for breakfast. Where's the wait button at? Is it even configured right now? It should be in there somewhere. I guess not. It's called Wait Anywhere. Where is it? I can just go back to sleep. Let me see. Oh, cha-ching! Wigs! Super chatted $1.2? Is that right? It says $1. No, oh, that, oh, that's a pound. Okay. Thank you, Wigs, for the one pound. He didn't say anything in the comment, though. But thank you very much. Thank you for the one pound. Very nice. Ching. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I need to craft a canteen. Be a good idea. Where's it at? Uh, motherfucker. Can I just type it in? No, okay, okay. Wait, I remember now. It's in the healing section for some reason. Jesse, we need to cook. <laughs> I don't even, never even watch Breaking Bag, but the memes are funny. Jesse! We need to make some jet. <laughs> Let's see. Healing. There it is. Oh, that's the homemade tech. Pretty cool mod. I haven't even used it yet, but it seems pretty cool. I always like it when mod authors create some handmade guns with good animations. It's just, oh, finally, you know? That's what we need. We need more guns like that. Like, more... Please. Any mod authors out there. You are listening. I beg of you. Make more handmade weapon mods, but actually with good animations and textures. Because most of the, most of the most of the handmade weapon mods out there are just kind of, you know, the same quality as. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense that they're low quality because they're handmade weapons. But I still want the animations to be good. Anyway, I'm gonna craft a bunch of these bad boys so I don't have to take too many trips to the river. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I might have to do something about the the spam in chat there, because uh, a lot of people are just spamming "Hail God Howard" over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do that just yet. I'm very new to streaming. Well, not new, but I've been doing it. I've done it before, but I definitely don't do it very much to know like all all, all the bot commands and everything. But anyway. Got another tip there from uh, Wiggs. He said, "Pound them cheeks, boy." <laughs> Wait, is that right? No, pound them cheeks, Brandy boy. Because <laughs> he, you know, get it? Because he donated with pounds. Get it? That's very funny. Give me two pounds. Thank you very much, Wiggs. Pound them cheeks. I'm gonna pound your cheeks real good, boy. Immersive. I'm just waiting for the. Sun to come up, dude. It's been dark for way too long now. You'll get the same exact War Daddy animations in every gun, and you'll like it! <laughs> I mean, it's better than no animations. I don't have a problem if, like, a mod reuses animations from another author. That's fine. As long as they match. 
However, I'm getting tired of, like, everyone just reusing, like, the... Like, the AK animations, right? The right-handed AK, like... I feel like every single gun mod has that. It's annoying. It doesn't even match, either. I'm definitely a stickler for animations, though. It needs to be immersive. Do I still not have any right away? Oh, I do! Oh! I picked that up sometime. Look at this immersive animation. It's very immersive. Now that was immersion. I'm so immersed now. If I go to sleep, will this... Wait. The... Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're good. What a beautiful day. Tasty. Well, guys, survival mode is just so immersive. How could you not play on this? Mm, I love having to micromanage my f my hunger and thirst. It's immersive. Can you guys please stop spamming Hell God Howard in the chat until I figure out how to create a bot that's prevent spam, please? <laughs> or else I'm just gonna mute you manually. Belted candy, stop. Please, I beg of you. Please, I beg of you. It's gonna take him a second to hear me, but... I need to drop some stuff off. I'm already almost over encumbered to the reach. Where's the... Oh. Hmm. Let's see. I definitely don't need his ammunition right now. He's got another... I was looking at that. I was, I was waiting for it to show up in chat. Wiggs did donate another two pounds there. Thank you very much, Wiggs. He said... <laughs> he said someone make a mod for immersive cheek pounding. That might be on Lover's Lab, actually, so... You probably already got your wish. <laughs> Immersive cheek pounding. <laughs> what was I gonna do? Oh, yeah. Arrows? I might... I can't craft any, any of these other ones right now, can I? No. Field point. Oh, I need to rank up my gunsmith first. Shoot. Okay. Can I get there? I think you need moderators here, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, I guess I need to level up my gunsmith to increase my... to know how to craft arrows. I don't know. I might have to mute those dudes manually then. I did actually set one of my friends... Oh, Lord. Uh, put user in timeout. Can I just do that? 300. Yeah, you guys are going to put in timeout now. Stop spamming that shit, please. It's annoying. Yeah, I need to... I need to get some bots. This, this is not very organized right now. <laughs> I just got to start up the stream. I like, I'll, I'll see how things go. Now you regret not having intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Or no, because with this mod, you don't need to have... Intelligence to get to gunsmithing. But yeah, I'll try and uh, get a bot set up for tomorrow. Alright, so those guys have stopped spinning Hill God Howard now. Sheesh. <laughs> Baby jail, yeah. But yeah, for now I'll just craft the swallowtail. Cause I, I did I did go through and I edited the archery mod, the the bow mod, to make some arrows better than others. It's like this arrow is a little bit better. There's a little bit more damage. But if I look at the, All right, I shouldn't be doing. Yeah, I'm doing 63 damage with this one, and then this arrow does a little bit more damage, and it also has armor piercing. Oh, I just crafted all of them right there. Nice. Only give me 30. Ooh, and I can make it. I can make it a fire arrow. Wait, how many did that did that just craft? I think I just clicked the button too many times because like I spent all my resources on all those arrows. <laughs> Whoopsie. But yeah, since I want to kill a deathclaw, I'm gonna have to craft some fire arrows just for a little bit of extra damage. You know, why not? 
So now, where's the swallowtail? Does it even... Does it even show up in the quick menu? I don't think it does. What the hell? That's kind of goofy. It just doesn't show up in the menu. That's lame. So I had to go here to change it, seriously? No, oh wait! I think you can't use it with this bow, actually. Oh, that's cool. I guess you can only use it with like the Mongol bow, maybe? Okay, well, I just wasted all those resources, so... <laughs> Let me go back to my save. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can only use the Swallowtail arrows with the other bow, I suppose. Anyway, it's all good. That would suck. No, no rules against reloading my saves. No rules against that. Yeah, whoopsie. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just craft some regular wood arrows then. For now. Damn, I need more resources. So... Did I craft a... Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, I just crafted a bunch of fire arrows. Okay. That's why. That works, though. I will need more steel. Oh, wait, I can just... I'm gonna turn this truck into some arrows. <laughs> That's so stupid. I can also scrap the entirety of Sanctuary, too. For more resources, which I should probably do, actually. That's a smart idea. If I just get a bunch of arrows. I'm gonna do that. I'll get a bunch more arrows. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got, well, I got too many arrows at this point. Oh! Did y'all hear that? I swear I just heard some footsteps, but I'm not going crazy, am I? No. I'm carrying too much and can't run. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to bring that junk back, though. <laughs> Well, that doesn't help. Okay, well, I'm just going to slow walk back to the chemistry station then. What are y'all saying in the chat over here? <laughs> Alright. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Put all this away for now. I can sell that stuff later. You know, I should, if I can, I should also, also craft some bandages. That'd be great. Healing. Dude. There's so much stuff in the workbench. Oh, I need water? Home? Interesting. I can craft some dirty bandages. <laughs> Why do I need water to craft a bandage? I thought... Oh, wait a second. Give me a second. Hold on. I think I've messed up my load order. Because I thought I changed that. Give me a second. No? Wait. Huh. I don't know. I'll worry about it later. I just want to play the game for now. Oh, wait. Oh, that's annoying. No, it's working again. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it's working. Yeah, for some reason when I adjust my load order, it stops my shadow play, which is really weird. I thought I had to restart my computer or something, but it's working. Probably. Okay. I was going to do something, and I forgot. How many fire arrows do we have? That's quite a bit. I'm gonna go kill those mole rats down there. <clears throat> Might as well. I'm gonna do 
some stealth archery on these mole rats. That's a good go. Beautiful. Dude, I'm already doing... Like, I just realized the gas mask overlay is way up there. It shouldn't be up there. Hold up. Hold up. Wing ding 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 ding. I can't see where I'm going. Beautiful. Stosh archery. Very stosy. I just realized I should probably go to the basement and get that free gold just to sell it. The basement sanctuary. I skipped a lot of stuff. I literally just ran over to the Concord and immediately like killed those dudes. So I usually don't do. Yeah, I might have to backtrack a little bit. Go grab all that loot in sanctuary. So I can sell it. Go buy more junk so I can craft explosive arrows and all that good stuff. very empty now. Weird. Oh yeah, I'm not allowed to use explosives, so. Oh, or unless unless an ex unless it's an explosive arrow, but. Okay. Throw all this away for now. Yeah. I also skip. I mean, I, I just. Oh, there's that snake over there we still need to kill. I missed. Whoop! There it goes. Very nice. Yeah, I just like grabbing this ammunition because, you know, it'll be easy to sell all that stuff later. Like, I'll, I'll grab a bunch of stuff. Like, I'll grab some lightweight materials and sell it to Carla when I get over there. <sighs> Brandy boy, no wait. Joshua said, "Brandy boy, what should, what would be your ideal shit hits the fan setup?" I like why I just knew what that was when I read it. <laughs> um, I would say Tesla coils, landmines, a katana, chainsaw, a minigun, MG42. Just everything. <laughs> but like realistically, like... Hmm. You know, obviously, like realistically, if you're in America, you'd want you'd want something that has like... Uh, common ammunition. Can't go wrong with like an AR-15 shotgun. 9mm pistol, something like that. It's basic, but it's realistic, you know. Or you can just be the old, you can be you can just be the, the Giga Chad who runs around with a rocket launcher. <laughs> or another thing, a bow. A bow would be useful. You can reuse the arrows. But I don't know how to use a bow. I want to learn. That'd be fun. Thank you, Stewie Griffin, for reminding me that I suck at lock picking. How much is your setup cost? Dude, this this PC was expensive. I use all my good boy points. My good boy points to buy it. It's 4K. <laughs> A lot of money. Worth it though. Only to play Fallout 4. <laughs> no, but I, I've used another game. And this this game, this computer runs so buttery smooth. I mean it's literally like the, one of the best PCs you can get. I literally just clicked all the most expensive parts. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll get that one. <laughs> that, that's how you do it, baby. Good boy points. <laughs> Talk about money. It's just a funny meme to say good boy points. I didn't even kill the rad roaches in here. <gasps> I just opened the suitcase. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought I could open the suitcase with an arrow. That would be, that would be realistic, guys. I, oh, I did. I, oh, I just broke the lock with an arrow. That's so dope. <laughs> oh. Good body. 
<laughs> Modern Warfare 2 level up never gets old. This stuff's so funny. Crossbow's a good option. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. And hopefully later. I want to get the crossbow later and use it in the playthrough. I don't want to use just the bow. I want to switch between. Because I made it to where the crossbow has better armor penetration and has higher velocity. But it has, you know, it doesn't have quite as much range. Make it realistic. Wait, just wait a second. I need to claim the settlement first. I'm gonna say I can scrap this house for just free steel. Oh yeah, I'm able to craft a ton of arrows now. You know, screw this tree in particular. Screw that tree. Because all I need to craft wood arrows is just wood, steel, and cloth. But for the uh, for the more refined arrows, I'll need aluminum. I think it's enough wood for now. Got him. Beautiful. I missed. Slow motion epic. I missed. Oh, I didn't even kill him. Beautiful. Oh, I, forgot. I totally forgot about the special book. Also, I should probably grab that perception bubble head of the museum. I forgot about that as well. If you're not against it, you could use the, you could use the scrap all command. What? Well, I'm gonna quick save and try that. What'd that do? Oh, it just scrapped. Okay, I see now. Huh. Scrapped 983 items? Dude, that's crazy. Dude, it literally just cleaned out Sanctuary. That's dope. Obviously, like a... You know, that, that is cheating, I guess. I mean, I'll... I mean, it's not... It just saves you time, but... Like, look at that. How much junk did that give me? Oh, my lord. I don't know. I mean, that is... I don't know. It's kind of cheating, but whatever. Doesn't really matter, I'm not gonna need that much resources. Plus, I like having all the pretty trees here, you know? The pretty dead trees in the mailboxes, you know? It, it really adds to the, you know, this little rubber ball that a kid was playing with as he got nuked, you know? That really adds to the atmosphere of Sanctuary, you know? That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> give me that back. Did he give me my arrow back? That was brutal. <laughs> oh, look, the kickball this kid was playing with is he got nuked. <laughs> like, I love... St like, like Loki, like, the stuff is kind of cool. Not cool as in, like, rad, but, like, and that's the atmosphere. It's like, damn, it, ma it makes it feel grim. Oh, 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 you missed me. Oh, 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 hey, oh, yo, oh. Oh! <laughs> Go and try hard Rainbow Six Siege Peeker on him. That's funny. Okay. I got it. I now have insomnia now. That's cool. But like I was saying earlier, like, you walk back into this nuked neighborhood and you see a little playground. You're like, damn, that's crazy. That's like. It's like sad. Like, there's this one scene in Metro, right? This one scene in Metro where your character's walking through, like, a playground. And he's having flashbacks of pre-war. And it's just like, man. That that kind of hits hard, you know. I wish Fallout had more stuff like Metro. Like, Metro is dark. Fallout... I think it would be nice if Fallout added, more, added some more dark and mature themes to it. Rather than just being... Especially Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is very cartoonish and goofy and lighthearted. And, you know, you can have humor and stuff, but... That was weird. I just wish Fallout had some more darker themes to it, because, you know, it's, after all, it's a freaking nuclear annihilation and all that good stuff. It's not very happy all the time. I'm, my character's profusely bleeding. 
just under period. Anyway. I think I'm doing the sanctuary for now. I got a bunch of loot. Good lord. No, I'm gonna take this over to Red Rocket. Oh, I forgot about the basement. Hold on. Wait a second. I'm not done just yet. I got busy talking about other stuff. <laughs> I love the look at the holster look. Yeah, the bow. I mean, the there probably is a way for me to change it, but it just looks so silly the way the bow is holstered on her back. It looks so stupid. <laughs> It's just sitting there. What's the texture pack you're using? Uh, well, a lot of the landscape is affected by another pine forest. Another pine forest adjusts like the landscape textures too. But I'm also using Vivid Fallout to adjust the textures. I'm using both. Where's that? Oh yeah, there's a bag up here. Wow, Jimmy, why do you get two American 180s? <laughs> That's dope. I got one that have a stock on it. I'm not going to be able to carry both of those, sadly. I could do a playthrough where like, I only use 22 long rifle. <laughs> That'd be interesting. This dude said, how, God, how do you get your game to run this nicely? Uh, RTX 4090. <laughs> That's the only way, dude. Well... Not entirely, because there's also a bunch of settings you need to tweak to make it run optimally. Opt optimally? That doesn't sound like a word, dude. The gold part just looked like it appeared out of nowhere. What the hell? Physics. We got to drop some things here. Wait a second. Nice. Like you just eat food. Hmm, I'm stronger now. Suburban City uses a hundred gigabyte texture pack. You're you're a maniac. Good grief. That's too much for me, man. How much FPS do you have? I'm at like one hundred right now. You guys can't see the frame counter. Or like okay, looking at the ground, I have ninety to one hundred. It, it's kinda of fluctuating. I mean with an E and B on like hey, I mean that's pretty good. But I am also using I'm using <laughs> I'm using like the strongest PC known to mankind, basically, or at least the strongest gaming consumer market PC. There's probably a NASA PC that could run this better. But yeah, I got an RTX 4090 with the uh, Intel 1300 something, the, the, the good stuff. Costs a lot of money though. worth. Okay. Maybe I should use the scrap all command. I don't know. I don't care. I'm, I'm done with this place now. See you later. I'll come back when I need more materials. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna bring over some junk bomb before I forget. Because, you know. Huh. I can't carry it because my character is too weak and has noodle arms. I forgot about that. I'll just carry a little bit. Wait. I already did that. Okay. It's freaking... This is why I always go with 10 strength in my playthroughs. I'm over encumbered. Yeah, let's just... Okay, let's put that back. And that back. I'll come back for it later. Whatever. Want to see how much you can run in Boston? Hmm, better look like you're running on a drive-through monitor. Yeah, no, yeah, in Boston it's still not very good, man. With all these, like, especially with all these, like the ENB. Oh yeah, I forgot my character is sick. Don't worry, I will inject antibiotics and instantly heal. Realism. Yeah, in downtown Boston, I get like 60 FPS in my lucky. If I'm lucky, with an RTX 4090, by the way. <laughs> That's how you know, dude. That's how bad Fallout 4 is optimized. 
I mean, I, I am using an ENB and all that stuff, but like, I'm just making the game look like a game that was actually, you know, made in current gen. The fact that it can barely run at 60 FPS in downtown with the strongest PC known to mankind is kind of sad. Like, yeah, I am, I'm running on high settings, but it should be able to run much better on high settings. Like, duh. Come on now. It's just Fallout's just not very optimized. It's kind of stinky. But I'm, whenever, I play, whenever I be playing, like, Warzone or something, like some Call of Duty, those games get some good optimization. They look pretty good. I'm running, like, over 100 frames easy. 120, 160. I'd be capping out, actually. I'd be capping out at, like, 160. Because that's, 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 that's my refresh rate of my monitor. I think I get everything I need here. Ugh. Gus just said I eat drywall. Nice. What bow mod is that? It's the L string bow. <laughs> Don't fix the bow positioning, it makes me laugh. Yes, I shall keep it here. It looks so stupid. <laughs> Immersion. Also, this gas mask looks kind of goofy. I want to get a cooler one. Also, however, the cool thing about this gas mask is that it has the animation. <laughs> Whoa! Immersion. That's what I like about this. About it would be nice if the mod author could like create animations for every single gas mask, but look how immersive that is. It's literally like I'm playing Metro. It's crazy. I get everything I need. I could probably kill a death claw now. Or you know what? There's like a raider camp over here I usually like to take out before I go too far in the game. Look, look. Tasty. I'm gonna quick save before I forget. Looks so good, oh yeah. Uh oh. Stutters. I'm also streaming at the same time, so it's... Oh my god, he's dripping. Look how... Look at this drip. This chicken's got mad drip, dude. What are those, Nikes? No, they're Jordans. He's got the Air Jordans. Sheesh! This chicken is absolutely dripping. Look at this. Beautiful. Give me your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. I love that mod. <laughs> I love that mod so much. It's I don't know if I should say the name of it. The name of it's kinda kinda silly. Just search dripping on the Nexus. You'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Immersive. <laughs> well, I should have said, what are those? Yeah. Well, I mean, th those are like, he was kind of dripping though. You're, you you can only say, what are those if they're wearing some goofy ass shoes, right? I think that's how it works. Oh, I forgot. Brandy, how big is your mod folder? Mine is 800 gigs. Good grief, Suburban. Mine's like th almost 400 now. It's like 350. About 350. Dude, 800 is it? 800 is it? Well, I mean, you have a texture mod which is 100 gigs by itself, so. <laughs> Dude, that, why would you download that? 100 gigs on a texture pack. You're a maniac. Yeah, you beat me. I thought I had a lot, dude. I'm gonna take out this Raider camp. Look at this. I'm gonna do super sneak mode. They're not even gonna see what's coming. Well, that was beautiful. Must have been the wind. Oh, beautiful! I have not missed a single shot yet. Beautiful. Just knock his head off. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure I'm still recording. I love that, man. Using the bow is so satisfying. You just you just line up all your shots perfectly and don't miss. Mm. Low key kind of OP. Oh, look, give me that. I wish I could use all these guns though.
I forgot the special book. <laughs> I, just, I was thinking, I was like, wait a second, I forgot. The <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll go back there in a second. Not a huge deal. I'm gonna run over here and go steal some loot from this. This loser. Why does this dude have four armor plates? Interesting. Wait, do those weigh anything? They should. Where is it at? Plate? Okay, no, it's they don't weigh anything. I should probably fix that. In case y'all didn't know, armor plates hey, do indeed have weight. Okay, I, I found a star bottle cap. Nice. I missed. Oh god. Oh. For some reason, if you shoot the bow and then start sprinting, your arrow will dis disappear. It still works, it's just invisible. Whoa, did y'all see that bullet just whiz right past me? Oh, that was a headshot. <gasps> there's, a, there's a death claw. I guess what, guys? He's wearing a ghillie suit. <laughs> that could be super stealthy now. Oh! I forgot about his dog. I feel bad for his dog. I hate killing dogs. Sometimes you gotta do it. Now I am very stealthy and I have the camouflage perk. Na -na 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 -na. Like, it's so, like, you can get a ghillie suit so early in this game with the, uh, the ghillie suit mod. Now I am become stealth. Huh. I wonder if I can kill that death claw. You guys think I can kill? I can just like cheese him. I could totally cheese that death claw, like standing on these rocks. <gasps> oh, you know what? The sentry bot. There's no rules against me using a sentry bot. Let me just sneak on in there. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I gotta kill her. Clear out these geckos. I'm stuck. You can just see the death claw over there. Look at him. I'm gonna sneak on over here real quick. Oh, it's actually a Securitron this time. Interesting. Hey. Hey. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let me just uh, eject hollow tape. Look, it's not me killing the Deathclaw. I'm just... I just turned on the Sentry Bot and he so happened to kill the Deathclaw. It's not my fault. You know? I... 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 Look, you know? Nothing against that. There's no rules against that. Did it turn on? Wait, I forgot to actually press the on button. Like, I had no way of knowing that this Sentry Bot was going to go out and kill, kill the Deathclaw. All I... All I did was just turn him on. You know? I didn't do anything else. That being said, let's just uh, aggro this guy. If I can hit him, <laughs> Deathclaw has no clue. It's something shooting at him. Okay, now and now he sees. I hit him. He's angry now. I'm gonna go in here and uh, just let them sort it out. <laughs> I, I can literally just hide in here, and he won't be able to fit. Don't worry, I'll I'll uh, I'll age you. I think the de death claw won. Damn, he's fast. Oh my, he's gone. I'm trying to switch to a fire point. I don't have this type of arrow. Yep, he, dude, he, he knows he can't get me, so he just runs away. I can just keep on baiting him out, though. Oh. Oh! Oh! I got him! <laughs> Critical hit. He almost made it through the doorway. He almost made it through. That was scary. Dude, that critical was overpowered. Damn. That was crazy. I killed my first death club, boys. Let's go. Woo!
I'm also carrying too much. Hold up. That was a big dub right there. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> so fat. Yeah. I installed a mod that makes Deathclaws, like, lore accurate. In speed. So they're actually super scary. Like, he just he looks like he's chilling now, bro. Of course I can't carry Deathclaw. Duh. Let's see. I can just chug chug some whiskey or run back over. Find something to drop, maybe. I'm just gonna suck balls having to have no carry weight. But it's it's a challenge, you know. But I pretty much always play with um max out strength, so this would be a nice change of pace. Okay, maybe I'll just chug some whiskey and just run on back. I don't know. Might as well. That was loud, damn. It only takes like one swig and like, okay, I'm done. Oh, I accidentally shot the bot one time too. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. There's a fat man right there. Not allowed to use it though. <laughs> he just chugged that thing. Bow's OP, yeah. I think that critical hit did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Like, it was a headshot, but damn. That did, like, a hundred... Over... Or... Um, hold on, let me calculate this. Okay, this bow... Right? This bow does 63 damage. With a headshot, it does double damage. Plus the critical is another, like, double on top of that. So that was, like, I don't know. I don't know how much... I don't know. It did, like, 200, 300 damage on that headshot. And he was already low on health, so... Oh, God. Don't worry, I can use the rocks to cheese them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no matter how hard an enemy is, you can always just use terrain to cheese them. I love that. Classic Bethesda moment. That's exactly what I, what I did with the Deathclaw. I just, you know, stuck myself in the doorway. Nice ragdoll. Get my arrows back. For some reason it said I didn't have any fi- I- That's probably because I reloaded my save and I forgot to graph them. Makes sense. Let me sneak attack these little babies. Got him. Good pwned. As you calculated, he said 252 damage. So yeah, that, that bow shot to the head probably did around 250. Well, like, he, he does, Deathclaw does have high damage resistance. So, like, probably knocked off quite a few points. I don't know, but it did a lot of damage. Because, you know, I use my manual critical there, too. That's what we like about the Vast mod. Vast mod just makes, makes the gameplay so much more fun. Honestly, I hope in the next Fallout, they just get rid of Vats and replace it with, like, bullet time. Exactly, exactly how Vast works. Vast is beautiful. I can activate it real quick. It's so good, and the way it, in it like integrates into the game, right? Where you can just you can you still have your perks and all that. It's beautiful. It's fun. No matter how hard the enemy is, Brandy is more hard. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm always hard. I just need to stop picking up so much stuff. It's a problem that many Bethesda players have. Where is where is this at? Let me drop that stupid mongrel meat. I don't like eating mongrel meat. I only eat gourmet rat stag. That water is an unhealthy color of blue. Yeah, someone poured Nuka-Cola Quantum in the water. I might need a... Maybe I should change it to a green color. That would look cool. I still didn't change the... Because on my other playthrough, my uh, my zombie playthrough, it was like a tropical look, so I made the water tropical. So maybe I should change it to something more modest. I should probably 
assign these um, sorting tags, but I'll get around to it eventually, okay? Maybe someday. But today is not the day. I don't even need... Well, no, you don't even... Do you have to use the power armor for the uh, for the quest to trigger? For the minimum quest to trigger? I don't even know. Let's go ahead and just store all this stuff out of the way. Sort out through my inventory. This is the funnest part. POV, most worthless drug in all of Fallout. Like who cares? Oh, you get light, you get night vision. Cool. Worthless. Bro, just use a flashlight. Okay, I think I'm good. I should probably craft some fire arrows. Be dope. I'm going to save. <laughs> I'm already a ghillie. It's OP. Look, I can just wear this for the rest of the game and be good. Although it's not, like, super drippy, though. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, arrows. I can't grab that many. I don't have enough oil. Time to invade Iraq. I need more oil. Nice. He's glitched through the floor. I saw that. Oh, yeah, the special book. I'm going to get that before I forget. You know what? Should we prohibit fast traveling? But I can do it. I don't know. I mean, this, the, the point of this playthrough is just like a weapon restricted run. Let me know what you guys think. It's just going to make the playthrough longer, though. That's the only thing. I know I did it for my... Did I do it for my zombie playthrough? Yeah, I did. For, for my zombie playthrough, I made it... I made it uh, no fast travel to make it more grounded. Stop forgetting, yeah. Walk, just walk. No fast travel. You guys want me to walk everywhere? No. No. Okay, we get it. No fast travel, oh no. Some people were saying fast travel. So yeah, okay. The real question is, what should we pick here for special? Alright. <laughs> like one strength, one charisma. I, I might actually, okay, hold up. Let, 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 me, look, let me look at the perks. Because... Lone Wanderer. Lone Wanderer is a really good perk. I need three Charisma for that, so... I'll probably want to increase Charisma to three just so I can get a Lone Wanderer perk. Why do you even need Charisma? Like, if you're a Lone Wanderer, you don't need Charisma because you don't talk to people. You're antisocial. So this should really be Charisma 1. I could change that, actually, if I want to. Probably should. I think that makes more sense. Lone Wanderer should be a one charisma perk. Because, like I said, you don't talk to people, so you have no charisma. Duh. Makes perfect sense. But in the meantime, let's see what else I could... Ooh, Epiphany Prone, yep. Or Idiot Savant, as, as it's called in the vanilla game. Definitely want that for now. Other than that... Oh, I need to level up Gunsmith so I can get, uh... Craft the better arrows. So I think I'll go for Charisma, actually. Sh strength? I don't really need Strength, though. Oh, now I'm stuck here. No, I can't exit until I pick one. But I don't really need Strength for any perks, I don't think. Oh, you know what I just realized? I think... I think you need to level up Intelligence to craft the nuclear arrows, though. So I might have to actually increase this later. I can always do it later. 
But I think for now, I want to level up as fast as I can. Level up as fast as I can. So I'll keep I'll keep intelligence low. And then once I get to a high enough level, then I'll start just speed run intelligence, I suppose. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just, I'll just go with Charisma, because I, I want to get to Lone Wander, because that'll help with the carry weight. I don't even know how long I'll spend on this playthrough. I could always... Can I just buy the arrows? Maybe. No, I'm not going to do any glitches. But yeah, I can always just level up intelligence later. I think I need the nuclear physicist perk, though. I'm not going to restart now. It's too late. Who cares? I'm just going to level it up. Where is it at? I think nuclear physicist requires like eight or nine intelligence or something crazy, actually. <laughs> I'll have to level up a whole bunch to get that. I don't know. It's somewhere in there. Someone let me know. I know it's really high, though. I think Nerd Rage is the is the level 10 skill, level 10 perk for intelligence, right? Hey, hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You want a schedule, bro? No, I'm not on a schedule. I'm just kind of just. I'm, I'm going to stream this playthrough whenever I feel like it. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to stream every single day at 5 p.m. or whatever. I'm just going to... Oh, there's more oil. Yeah, I need to craft some arrows. But like tomorrow, I'll try and stream around the same time. I'll try and stream around like 5 or 6. And I'll stream for a few hours. Like, it's already 8 p.m. I've been streaming for like 2 hours now, I think. Nuclear physicist is 9, damn, yeah. That's alright, though. <laughs> I'll just level up as quick as I can with Epiphany Prone. We'll get there. Although, it will be a lot harder to level up fast because I don't have a bunch of zombies to kill. A bunch of ghouls to kill, I mean. What about a sleep schedule? <laughs> yes, I do have a somewhat of a sleep schedule. It's not, like, super strict, but... I usually go to sleep around, like, uh... 11 or 12. It's already 8.22 right now. I'll probably play for another hour. And then I'll go to sleep for today. Let's see. I should probably make that to where they actually weigh something. I shouldn't be able to carry around like 50 plates. But I'll do that later. There's a bow in this game? Yes, this is the vanilla Fallout 4 if you haven't noticed. Bro, are you crazy? Did you not know? Come on now. That'd be the most hilarious thing. You show your friends some Fallout gameplay, like, bro, look at this. Like, what? The and, like, it's like it's like my playthrough or something. It's like 700 mods. Like, bro, this is just regular Fallout 4. You, what? Did you not play the game correctly or something? Did you miss that? <laughs> just gaslight them. <laughs> like, yeah, bro, this is regular Fallout 4. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, Lump Gun. Wow. Yeah, basically, I mean, this playthrough, I'm not going to try and do... <sighs> I'm not going to try and play through every every single little side quest. It's just, it's just, I'll see if I can beat the game. I probably will be able to. Let's do this. Can't be that hard. This dude was just... Invisible arrow. Nice. So far, things are pretty easy. All these low-level enemies aren't too too big of a deal. Plus, I can just yeah. At the end, of the, you can always just cheese. Like I can I can literally cheese this death claw. I can just hide in the building. I'm gonna do that. Watch. <laughs> Points at the chicken with a drip. Yeah, just regular Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah, they, they just didn't buy the, the deluxe bundle. This is actually just DLC. It's Creation Club. This is the Fallout 4 Anniversary Edition. <laughs> okay.
Okay, now let's go. I did have the fusion core, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, the broadhead arrows. Yeah, I can't wait till I get the broadheads. Those, those are those are really good. I did, I did go into the mod and actually like nerf a lot of things or adjust them, make some 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 things I nerfed, some things I buffed, but. Um, I did adjust it to where, like, it's not stupid overpowered. Good night, Suburban. See you later. Do you watch anime? I haven't watched anime in quite a while. It's been a while. Yeah, I've watched anime before. <laughs> Have your tea back, you jackanapes! So silly. I just realized I should craft a mod for my backpack that allows me to carry more. E and B? It's PRCX. P R C X. Okay. I'm just here for the bobblehead if you don't mind me. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nice, great. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Please go on, yes. It's a cruel world. Let's hear it. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. Well. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I'm not going to use the minigun. I'm going to use the bow. You can rip the minigun right off. You tried voice acting? No, I haven't gotten any professional voice acting work, no. That'd be cool, though. I've gotten a lot of people saying I should do stuff like that. I just wouldn't really know how to get into that business, you know. I don't have any connections. I know, right? Why is it so dark? Because there's no lights in this building. They're not working. Oh, okay, those lights are working. But I'm using a mod that adjusts the interior to make it more moody. It's very immersive. What you'll need, bud. We look. I fix stuff. A lot more. Yeah, I do have a texture mod on. I'm using Vivid Fallout. It changes quite a few textures. Not all of them, though. But it does. It definitely makes things a little bit more gritty. I like it. Overall, my entire game looks very gritty and dark and depressing and uh, apocalyptic, you could say. There's one in the basement behind the security gate. You'll need to pick the lock or hack the computer to open it. You'll need to pick the lock or hack the computer to open it. Shut up, nerd. Preston sounds like such a freaking nerd. Well, all right. <laughs> Preston's flirting with you. Nice. No. He's not very suave. Also, this footstep mod is extremely loud. But it's immersive. Where can I send you fan art? Uh, <laughs> what's your fan art gonna be? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you could... S uh, Discord? I guess that works. I don't really have too much social media. Do windows not exist? No. Put that smooth, buttery voice to use. I am. That's why I got a YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't have to use that. I can just walk over here, right? And then the death claw will show up. We got somebody up here. Huh? I like it. No. Okay. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. He said, "Boss, we got somebody up here." And I, I, I got a sneak attack. He knew I was there. And I got a sneak attack on him. That's not very immersive. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. They know I'm up here, but I'm still getting sneak attack bonuses. Oh, that was beautiful. I think that was a headshot. This is one of the most satisfying mods to use. He's just hiding behind that. Oh! He shot me in the face. But I'm alive. Let me make this shot. Okay, I should probably, uh, maybe I should heal. He's an expired stim pack. Mmm, yes. 
Oh no. Things start to get a little bit hectic when there's a whole gang of raiders shooting at you. So I want to see how much damage the fire fire is do. Let me see. Looks like it hit my shots though. Ooh! Oh, I got shot in the face. Right in the dome. Good thing I have. For, for, like usually, you know, it would be it would be cool to play like regular survival, but I do have quick saves, quick quick saving enabled because my game. If you guys watched the last playthrough, I crashed quite a bit, and it'd be really annoying to um. Really annoying if your game crashes. You didn't save in like two hours, and you're like, oh, that's cool. You know. So I do have I do have saving enabled. There's not gonna be a hardcore hardcore playthrough. Oh yeah, first death. Forgot about that. Thank thank you for reminding me. I forgot. But I will do a playthrough eventually, right? And uh, I'll do a hardcore playthrough, like whenever I die. It'll be like in Dark Souls where I or like I respawn in like a bed. So that'll be cool. I could do a permadeath, but I feel like that's a little bit too much. Especially with like Especially with the way my game is balanced, right? I literally died in like one headshot right there. I think it was two. Like that's brutal. But I, I definitely will do a hardcore playthrough like that. With MAME enabled too. But right now, it's a it's it's kinda chill. There's a liquor right there. <laughs> like the whole point is just I'm just gonna use this bow. I don't wanna make it too hard on myself. That'd be brutal. Bow only plus plus I can't like quick save or anything. Oh god. That'd be horrible. Ugh. It literally feels like I'm literally playing Skyrim right now. I'm just trying to snipe these dudes. Oh, that was beautiful. That's such a long shot, too. Oh, that was a snipe. Oh, look at this. I'm, I'm not an expert. Look at this dude trying to snipe me over here. Oh, that was close. Oh, look at that. How far is that? Could someone guesstimate how far that shot is? That's going to be like... Oh, that's easily 100 yards, bro. That was insane. I mean, you know, he's an NPC and he's not, like, moving around like crazy, but still. It's just so satisfying you get, like, a Hail Mary shot like that. Whoosh. <laughs> How am I supposed to get down without dying? Oh, wait. The church. Is it just gonna stay there? Oh, wait, I forgot. Let me get these bottle caps. Now, I'm not using MAME right now, but I've used it before. I've not done I've not done a playthrough with MAME. Like an entire playthrough. I just I messed around with it for a little bit. I was like, damn, this mod is absolutely brutal. So I haven't done it just yet, but I'll do it eventually. And that that playthrough will be agonizing pain. True pain. Like, I will do a playthrough with MAME and knockout framework where whenever I die, whenever you die in knockout framework, people steal your loot and then you respawn in a bed. So that'll be a brutal playthrough. So not only will it be MAME, right? Oh, the death call's coming out. How can I hear that? How can I hear that from across the entire block? Yeah, with that, with that other playthrough idea I've got. Oh, there's a crossbow. With a stick of dynamite that's just floating. Anyway, with the other playthrough idea I've got, that'll be absolutely brutal. Like, that will genuinely be like... I, I, I genuinely don't know if I'll actually be able to beat the game. Like with this one, like just using a bow, like yeah, you know, I'll be able to make it. It'll be, it'll, I'll, there, I'll, there'll definitely be some obstacles, but fairly certain I can beat the game with a bow. Can't be that hard. It's Fallout. And plus, you know, you can just cheese enemies. Like I'm gonna do this death claw real quick, or you know, you can just sit back and sneak attack. It's like that's literally what you do, what you would do in Skyrim, right? You would just sit back and just sneak attack NPCs from like a mile away. And since they're so far away, they can't detect you. <laughs> That's basically what I was doing right there. This bro just had a freaking Remington 2010 on him. Nice. 
I can't carry him out of space. Oh, there he is. Oh! No way. <laughs> that was... What? Okay, that's busted. What? Wait. 61 damage. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Shouldn't you turn off your flashlight? Yeah, baby. <laughs> I just, I'm just I'm used to keeping it on. Um, I just one shot a death claw. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> this sneak attack bonus was ridiculous. Okay, hold on. <laughs> with, the, with the stone arrow. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of testing real quick. Let me go and just do a hard save right here, but that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Let me make sure that's right. There's no way. There he is, okay. Okay, right? He's got 750 health. There's no way my bow did over 750 damage. There's no way. One hundred fifty damage resistance. Right. Now if I go over here and I'll sneak attack him, he probably he can see me right now. I think. I have to like get behind him or something. I don't know. Damn. Dude, just in general, it's so dark right now though with all the lighting and everything. Huh. Interesting. So if I go over here, you know, let, let me go ahead and let me go and kill this one. He already saw me. Let me go and whoops, whoops. <laughs> I'm, I'm debugging the game just to make sure. Like, there's no way I just one shot that death claw with a freaking bow and arrow. <laughs> what arrow? <laughs> Better than 50 BMG. <laughs> oh, he, he, he hasn't seen me. Okay. My game is bugged out. Right? This. Oh. Not good to have. Get AV. See that one? That one only did about 250. That attack only did about 250 damage. Huh. That's how much it should do. That's still a lot of damage, though. I can kill him in three hits. Yeah, three shot kill. I mean, it's all sneak attacks, by the way. The base damage of this bow is 61, right? With the fire arrows. Good god, this is overpowered. I mean, it's only 61 damage! That's less damage than a than a 308 sniper rifle. And I feel like that I feel like that's balanced, right? Huh. Anyway, I think the reason why I one shot that death claw is because like the raiders shot him. Right? Like, look, I, I can go and reload this save or something. But I think that's what happened. I think the because the remember the the death claw broke out way earlier, right? He broke the the, the death claw bro broke out of the sewer. No way. No, because I already killed all the raiders. I don't know. Yeah, that's what. I, okay, yeah. I don't know if the raiders actually shot at the death claw though. The car might have killed it. I don't know. Okay, let's actually go ahead and run through that scenario again. Let's run through the scenario again just to make sure, because that was ridiculous. I might have to nerf sneak attacks though. Sneak attacks are busted. Like even though it's only it's, I I already nerfed it enough, right? I nerfed sneak attacks to do two point three times damage, right? Like you you all see in like the top left corner, it says sneak attack for two point three times damage, which is less than vanilla. Because in vanilla, if you if you get the ninja perk. 
If you level up the Ninja Perk all the way, right? If you level the if you level up the Ninja Perk, you'll do like four, three, three or four times the sneak damage or something. I don't know, something like that. But let's just go ahead. Oh, cha ching. Ethan said, I think the claw was hard capped at level 10. No, no, it, it, no, the way I set up my mod, it doesn't matter what level it is. So I'll go in, I put on god mode, right? Yeah. So I'll go over here and spawn, spawn the death claw, right? It should have 750 HP. Also, this running animation looks so goofy. <laughs> go ahead and bust that death claw. Let's see. Yeah, he's got 750 HP. He's got 750 HP. So, the Raiders must have shot at him. Somehow, I don't know. Something must have hit him. Because he was low on health. That Deathclaw had to be about 250 HP when I killed him. But still, I think sneak attacks might be too overpowered still. So anyway... Here, I, I can try this again. I, I'll, I'll, I'll nerf the... The sneak attacks even more, right? Maybe it was the liquor? No, I can't remember. I don't know. It was something that hit him. Hit him quite a few, quite a few times though. But like by default, sneak attacks do one point five damage, right? So I'll go down to like one point one, just so it doesn't mess up the multiplier too much. So one, and how much will how much will this do? Because I, I do have the perks enabled. 1.9 times damage. Okay. Also, my arrow's invisible. I don't know. What do y'all think? Maybe he got licked. Yeah, he got licked. I don't know. I, I, might, I, I, might, I might nerf it a little bit just to make it not stupid overpowered. I mean, it already, it already is. I'll do... Where's that? 1.2? Right, so it'll be like a solid 2 times multiplier, maybe. Is that Preston down there? Is my bow bugged right now? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so two times damage. What do y'all think about that? What am I shooting at? My bow is bugged, look. <laughs> bow be bugged. <laughs> Virgin! <laughs> King... King J said, The Virgin Deathclaw versus the Chad Archer. <laughs> That was such a, that, that's exactly what happened though. Just one shot that, that death claw was hilarious. But thank you very much for the 10 bucks there. Thank you very much, King J. Very generous. Love that. Very funny comment too. And we got another one. We got another one from Colin. Colin Curry donated five bucks there. He said, your videos have been helping me through a lot that's going on in my life. Your videos crack me up, especially the zombies one. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. And, and, and you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad my videos... Can give you some enjoyment in your life. That's great. Keep it up, man. I love you. It's beautiful. I'll keep on making good videos for you, man. Hell yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I think a two my bow is still broken. <laughs> Why is it broken like that? Is the the the, 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 anim the animation is busted on it. You have to re-equip it. So y'all think a two times multiplier is good? I could nerf it even more. I could go down to like a 1.8. Paid actor. Deathclaw's a paid actor. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I could nerf it. Where is it at? I'm... I'm blind. So yeah, that'll be like a 1.8 times multiplier if I do it that. Still, the animation's busted, though. Don't know what's up with that. <laughs> this is how I play the game with... Did he just walk into the fire? Did it set him on fire? That's funny. I might go with 1.8. Just to make it as balanced. Because, like... Otherwise, it's just, it's just gonna be way too powerful. Way too powerful. So... Okay. I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back, and I'll start. I'll start here at one point eight multiplier. 
No, I shut the desk clock right now. The oh, there we go. Colin Creed again, two bucks. Thank you very much, Colin. Thank you very much again, once again. He said you also helped me want to play Fallout 4 again. I'm glad. I'm glad I enticed you to play this god awful game. <laughs> no, it's a, it's fun. Obviously, I'm having a great. It it, it is fun with mods, of course. With mods, it is fun. I like playing it. But you're welcome. I'm and like I've noticed like a lot of people have been have been saying that they're like, man, you made me want to play Fallout 4 again. <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because <laughs> it's it at its core, you know, it it is a fun game. You just gotta add a bunch of mods on it to make it refreshing. So I do have that multiplier that was times one. So okay, this is how it works. If I don't have any perks, right? If I have no perks, then I will not do any sneak damage. So you have to have the ninja perk to actually do sneak damage. So I feel like that's kind of cool. And whenever you do max it out, you'll have up to a 1.8 times multiplier. I think it's actually 1.75, but it just it just rounds up. Still, my animation's broken on it, though. I don't know why it's doing that. If I stand up... Very odd. It was working earlier. Yeah, my animation's just broken now. <laughs> it's just broken. <laughs> it looks so stupid. It's hard... Loki kind of messing up my aim. Oh, that was a nice headshot. <laughs> so stupid, broken animation. Just this is so dumb. How did I miss that? This now this is gameplay. Looks so goofy. It's broken animation. Or the bolt. Hold up. He's just punching that liquor. Let's see who wins. Who's gonna win the Chad Raider? Oh, oh! The Chad Raider! He just pushed his head off! The Chad Raider just punched off the liquor's head! Dude, no way! The Chad Raider versus the Virgin Liquor! <laughs> that was insane. Oh, wait. I just saw in the comments, someone said I had god mode in it. Okay. Sorry, I was cheating. Whoopsie. I still like... Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, because when I was doing my testing, I forgot to turn off god mode. I forgot to turn off god mode. Okay. Thank you. So now we're actually playing the game fair. Because I, I just realized I wasn't getting shot. So yeah, it's disabled now. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, it was God mode that was messing up the animation. Okay, thank you. Thank you for noticing that. I would, I would have legit just kept on playing the game <laughs> in God mode without even noticing. Oh wait, I also need to change the sneak multiplier. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna fit. Yeah, the crossbows in the church. I remember that. I'll get it. I'll, I'll go back down the same way. But all right, let's do this for the third time. Third time's a charm. The raiders are not spawning though, what the fuck? Ooh! Right in the face. I moved. Nice. Ah. Look at that angle. Yeah, Preston is down there. Did he just jump down there? Shot Gris on the leg. Oh, let's let, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's let's see if we can get the liquor. Oh, 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 okay. oh! Oh no, he got shot in the back. Okay, Gristle almost got him though. Oh, that was close. It was literally right over his shoulder. Nope. It's harder to hit him when they're moving. That literally went straight in between his legs. Come on. Stop moving! <laughs> this is... Thank you. Nice cover you're taking there behind that. This dude literally has zero HP. Look at this. 
He has point five HP. God dang it. Come on, bruh. I'm glad I crafted a bunch of arrows because I'm missing a lot. They keep on moving though. Stop moving. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Kinda hard to see these dudes. Now this is peak gameplay. Oop, I got a hit. Boy, I'm just whiffing. Ow. Bruh. Come on! <laughs> I'm missing every single shot now! Oh, finally. How am I... How did I get a sneak attack bonus that they were shooting at me? Sneak is overpowered. Remember they're shooting at Preston. These... All their shots are just going straight through. I'm the... Worst archer. Woo! Yeah, finally. Stop moving! Oh, dude! I swear they don't—they don't have leg hit, They don't have leg hit boxes. He just—he just dodged that one. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. Finally. That was that took way more arrows than last time for sure. I only got shot like once though. Not allowed to use vaps. I don't have vaps, I have vaps. I, I just wasn't using it because it takes action points. That's vaps right there. I don't know, sometimes I just forget to use it too. Let me in. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, the bow. Crossbow. I don't have any. I don't have anything for it though. Nah. Nice. Got a bunch of arrows back right there. That's dope. Let's see. Give me some loot. I'm gonna switch to that fire arrow. Look at all these arrows all over the place. <laughs> Look at how many arrows are in the crowd! <laughs> Look at all of them! That's hilarious. I'm gonna have to drop a few things here. Uh, shoot. Right, eat a rat stag? Oh, right, I'm already. Yeah, I already have that effect still. I'm gonna drop some junk, I suppose. Damn, I don't really want to. Give me that. Okay, still recording. Hey, right, let's go. Might be faster to just forget these and craft new ones, honestly. I got a bunch of them, don't I? Oh yeah, I already got a bunch. I can just leave them, honestly. Take too long. Dude, just get brighter. Oh yeah, there's the death claw over there, by the way. That's a little bit more balanced. Oh wait, I need to get inside. Woo! <laughs> okay. So this time he did not get one shot. Oh! He's fast. And he's gone. He is gone, gone. Okay. Can I. How do I stop drawing the. Okay. Because I don't want to waste that fire arrow. Dude, he's gone. He just left. So the, the, like, he knows he can't reach me, so he's just gonna run away. 
I can just bait him out and then run to the building. Oh god. Why is there a dead guy in the shopping cart? Things are getting a little wacky at Walmart. Okay, I need to drop all this. God dang it. Oh! Oh! That was a little bit too close for comfort. <laughs> Maybe I can, like, use this to my advantage, right? Oh, dude, he was zooming! He was zooming! Aha! Oh, this is missing somehow. Oh, he's stuck! He's stuck! Time for the critical! Almost killed him. Got him. <laughs> That's so dumb. Nice. <laughs> Playing chicken with a death claw, yeah. So either way, man, it's just so silly you can just cheese enemies like that. It's funny. It would be nice if they came up with some kind of thing the death claw can do to like counter that, like throw stuff at you, maybe. I'm gonna drop something. I want to keep his meat so I can like his death claw meat's super expensive. I can sell that. I don't need your hands though. No, thank you. I can just walk back to Red Rocket. Yeah, I can do that. Nice. Alcohol makes you stronger. This is facts. That was easy. <laughs> Chat is cut off a bit? What do you mean? Oh, I see at the very top it's cut off slightly. That's, that's fine. Yeah, he... Like, definitely last time, he was probably just super low on HP, the death claw. Something must have hit him. Like, that time, it seemed like he was almost full HP. Even then, like, he still didn't... He still died rather quickly. You know, considering I'm using just basic wood arrows. But I did shoot him in the face quite a bunch, though. I got 750 HP. Sweet. Dead claw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they... Okay, yeah. Yeah, they do have a throwing... Like, they have this little attack where they throw rocks at you, but, like, they barely ever use it. Like, they, like... Sort of, like, dig into the ground. But, like, it doesn't even do that much damage. Like, they, they, they need to have something kind of like the behemoth, right? Or at least something where they can actually climb up. And get you. Or, like, squeeze through little doorways or something. I don't know. Because you can just do that with so many enemies where you can just... They're like the really big ones, you can just cheese them. Just hide in a building. They can't touch you. They should do something where like the laser... Like the... The death claws get laser beam eyes or something. So you try to cheese them, they just shoot you through a wall with laser beams. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that'd make death claws absolutely terrifying. Why is this marked on my... Quest? Fused. Oh, get a fusion core, that's why. We should just leave press in there, that'd be funny. Oh, we can level up. What should we choose here? Ooh, better criticals for even more critical damage. That's gonna be overpowered. I definitely want to level up faster, though. So, I'm trying to spec a dead. Pivoting prone as quick as I can. And, uh, what else? Level up survival to 30. I also want to get the adamantium skeleton. That's a good perk. You can't go wrong with that one. Sneak is already at 50. I've already got the ninja perk. Leveled up all the way. But I can, keep, I can keep on leveling... I'm gonna level up Sneak all the way to 100, eventually. Well, let's just put one point into it. Why not? Hmm. Interesting. Stealth boy duration, actually 25%. That might be useful. Have Mama Murphy 1v1 a death claw? She has 19 strength. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember seeing a video about that. So, for my hardcore health overhaul mod, I, I buffed her even more to 99 strength, which is hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to improve Gunsmith as well. I forgot. Almost there. Oh, I literally could have spent that one point on Gunsmith to, <laughs> to, get, to be able to craft field arrows. Oh, well, I'll do that next time. 
I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should try and do the Minuteman playthrough, or should I do a Railroad? Or something else? I, mean, I don't want to do Brotherhood. I did Brotherhood last time. I think it makes more sense for, like, an Archer character, if you're going to be all sneaking. Like, Railroad makes sense because they're sneaky, right? And they do sneaky stuff. But, like, Minuteman could work, too. So let me know what y'all think in the in the chat, if I should do Minuteman or Railroad. I don't think anyone's going to pick Railroad, but we'll see. I don't think anyone likes Railroad under any circumstances. <laughs> but if y'all make me do it, I'll do it. He said Railroad. But I went, ahead and did, I went ahead and did that first quest anyway, just, you know, I wanted to kill the Deathclaw. Because why not? Do Railroad for Edgy Spy. Okay. We got two votes for Railroad. So we got three votes for Railroad. Okay, okay, okay. Counterpoint, the railroad blows. Okay, so it's th three to one. Four to one. Four votes for the railroad. Five, vo five votes for the railroad. Oh my lord. Six votes for the railroad. It was a landslide. Everyone's saying railroad. Oh no. Dude, we got, yeah, we got a bunch of... Might go the railroad then. We, okay, we, we finally got a, we finally got two more votes for uh, Minutemen. So we have three votes for <laughs> one dude said one dude said Institute. It looks like we're, we're getting a lot more railroad votes. So I think we'll just, I think we'll go with them. But yeah, I can just leave the Minutemen in the museum then. <laughs> I, like I said, I just want to do that quest to get the get the perception bottle, bobblehead and kill the Deathclaw just to see to flex my archery skills on them. Yeah, plus I've literally never played the Railroad ending before, so I might as well do it. I might as well, just to change things up. So yeah, okay, we're, we're gonna go with Railroad, railroad then. Railroad and Minutemen Alliance? I could do that. Oh yeah, Backpack Capacity, I'm gonna do that. Good idea. Thanks for reminding me. Increase. Backpack. No straps either, screw that. Oh, I can put it on a patch. Dope. Let me increase my charisma. I mean, the... Which one? This one... Wait, where's the one that gives you extra... This one gives you extra endurance. That's an extra plus 10 HP, so why not? And the gear. The extra bags. This is the only one I ever use. My bow's invisible. Dude, just so... This weather. When's it gonna be nice and, like... You know, um, not so depressing. The weather is just constantly overcast. I'm gonna knack X. Let me see what the climate's like. Where is this? Where is this at? There it is. Climate. Oh, it's, it's game time. So it is fall, so it's gonna be mostly over. Maybe I should change it to just a balanced. Cause I want I want to get some more weathers than just being depressive weather all overcast, you know. Cause it says right here, fall season is mostly foggy and cloudy climate, with some occasional pleasant weathers. But I'd rather have something like this, just so I can have more varied. Um, more varied weather, so it's not just the same boring, dreadful overcast. Plus, it's probably kind of hard to see with it being dark all the time. Never, you're in Boston. I don't know how's the weather like in Boston. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, just making sure. I think it takes some time for the uh, for it to change too. Anyway, so what's our next move? I suppose the next move is run over to just run to Diamond City and start the main quest. I could speed run the game if I want to. Try something like that. Actually, it's getting kind of late. I'll try and wrap up the stream. Hmm. How many people do good on right now? Damn, one, 176. Still. That's crazy. I'll keep playing for a little bit longer. A second. 
most lovely Boston day. <laughs> yeah. So I got enough arrows, right? I got plenty of arrows. Yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and deactivate that. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to waste too much time doing all these crazy side quests. The whole point of the challenge, I'm going to try and beat the game like this. I will make some pit stops, though. What? Ooh! I want to make a pit stop at the... At the, uh, the Boston... Or not the Boston, the Cambridge Police Department. At the Cambridge Police Department, you, you get a you get a recurve bow, I think. And that, that will help a little bit. It, I made it to where the bows do the same damage. But, like, the better... The upgraded bows have, high, like, higher velocity. Like, you know, you're able to get more... Velocity out of your arrows. Maybe I should make it to where, like, the better bows do more damage, but... That's just how I decided to balance it. And plus, I'll get a bunch of uh, regular field arrows. These arrows right now are only doing 63 damage. Which is pretty bad. I mean, it's, it's alright. But once I get the broadheads... With the compound bow, that'll do, like, 75 damage plus bleed. So it'll do, like, close to, like, 100 damage per shot. Which is really good. Probably too overpowered. I might, I might have to nerf these as I play throughout the game. We'll see. You know. Because just from that first encounter with the Deathclaw, I one-shot at a Deathclaw with a basic bow with a wooden arrow. A stone point arrow. It's like, I might have to nerf him. We'll see. As we all know, Stealth Archery is extremely overpowered in Skyrim. And uh, it's overpowered here until, <laughs> until we fall out. <laughs> Next stop. Or you know what? I don't even have the charisma to sell. I'm just going to save that gold. I'm, I'm going to wait to sell stuff when I get a little bit higher charisma. There's no point in selling stuff right now. It's going to be a waste. I need to drop some stuff off here. I'll drop off the crossbow. I don't have anything, I don't have anything for it, so... I put on the gunner patch? Wait. But I put on the US. Okay. I don't want to I'm not a gunner. I want to put on the other patch. It's not immersive. You gonna make crossbow boats? Nah. I'll just wait until I um, find some. Or you know what? Maybe I should, because the crossbow does do a lot more damage. But big damage. Crossbow is really good. Where do I make them at? Is there a bolt section or a crossbow? I don't know where you make them at. I've got way too many mods here. Oh my lord. It might just be in the utility section. Bolt? It's not arrow, obviously, because crossbow bolts. I don't even know, man. Oh my gosh, all these gun mods. Someone let me know where this where the bolts are at. Is it even craftable? They should be. Pedal gas mask. Wow. Uh uh healing. No. I got way too many mods, dude. It's an absolute nightmare to sort through <laughs> everything at the Kim bench. I don't know if you can craft them. I don't know. Someone look it up on the mod page for me. How much does the crossbow weigh? Five pounds. I, I'll, I'll keep it on me. I'll go ahead and keep the crossbow on me in case I do run into some bolts. I just realized, is that. Bro is my armor plate broken? Right now. I'll go and replace it. Call of Duty. Modern Warfare. Do you guys know if armor plates exist in Fallout? Like, do they have, like, ceramic body armor? I'm not ceramic, like, steel. Like, do, like, do they have steel plates in Fallout? Is, is that in the lore? I mean, they have power armor. You'd think they'd, they'd have, like, you know, regular, like, steel plates and stuff, right? You know, they have, they have Kevlar, right? 
I think they do. Like, okay, okay. If you look at Joshua Graham, right? Joshua Graham is wearing like a SWAT vest or a police vest. So that implies that they have like modern body armor in Fallout. Right? So like, I, I don't think it's much of a stretch to say that they also have like steel plates. Anyway. Yeah, cause all this. Yeah, that's what military armor and combat armor is. Like, what is combat armor? Like, is combat armor seriously just like steel? Like, what is it made out of? Combat armor looks really goofy. I really don't like how they designed combat armor, especially Fallout 4's combat armor. It looks really goofy. The riot gear. Yeah, the riot gear in New Vegas has like a big old steel. But it's not exactly the same thing as like... As like these. These are like, you know, your typical modern day plates, which you put into like a carrier. Right? Like, what, you don't actually see these in Fallout. Like, you, you'll see other armors, right? Like, like you mentioned the, the New Vegas, like, NCR riot gear, right? And it, they, it does kind of have like a steel chest plate thingy. But I'm just wondering if they have something exactly like this that exists in Fallout. Because we haven't seen it. Like, do they have replaceable plates and plate carriers? I don't know. Like I said, Joshua Graham is wearing like a police vest. But I don't, I think it's just a vest. It's not a plate carrier. I don't know, man. This is deep lore. I think it's funny how Joshua Graham is like the only one that has that too. Nobody else has that. Nobody else. Just him. Because he's cool. <laughs> he's cool. They would be rare. I don't know, because like the combat armor, right? The combat armor is kind of like... I guess it would be a replacement for like the body armor that we have right now. I don't have any on me right now I can show you but anyway I'm gonna make a lore video about that does modern body armor exist in Fallout okay it's time to head out I've been talking for too long but for gameplay purposes I think this plate armor this armor plate mod is pretty neat it's fun it's cool it's cool. It, plus, it works kind of like you know, like how power armor, right? Power armor, your your armor degrades, and you have to you have to repair it. Same thing with this one. Your armor plate only lasts for a few shots, and then you have to replace it. So I think it's cool. I wish they would have had something like that in the vanilla game. Like, well, they don't even have they don't have degradation. They don't have like equipment degradation besides power armor, which is really stupid. Like, how, I don't know why Bethesda did that. Where they they removed. Like the weapon condition and all that. I think it's lame. But they kept it for power armor though. <laughs> right? Stupid. Did I save? I'll do another quick save. Screw it. Fire point. Stone. Stone point. Let's see. Lord. Do a no HUD run? Oh, the HUD is pretty useful. I kind of want to know how many, like, how much health points I got. Oh, but plus the HUD is cool to look at. I don't want to not use it. I like it. I, I spent a long time setting up my HUD. Okay, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> can you do a moist critical style commentary? I mean, I can kind of mimic his voice, but I'm not as good as, like, coming up with this crazy, like... You know how you know, moist critical comes up with, like, the craziest metaphors of all time? Like, I can't really do that. He's a he's got a quite the vocabulary. I don't I, I can't match that skill. I can kind of do his voice a little bit, a little bit, but no. I do not have the same lingo as the legendary voice critical. That's a bear. Damn, he just ate that arrow. Carla, save me. Oh! Ah! I'm being mauled by a bear, and you're sitting on your ass. Did I die? Oh no, I'm alive. Carla, do something. <laughs> I keep on forgetting there's a Yalgoy that's... No, yeah, the ball is... The... What the... What just happened? The Yalgoy was mauling Carla right after that. <laughs> that was... What was that? What the... There was a hyena eating her ass. 
<laughs> he was literally lying. He was inside of Carlos' freaking butt. <laughs> what a wacky encounter. That was quite silly. If I have any junk here, I can just... Yeah, you can just take that. And uh, that. That was very wacky indeed. Here, take the, the meat. I just got off the Yagoi. <laughs> okay. Also, if y'all are wondering, I'm using a mod that increases the amount of meat you get from an animal. From an animal because it's not very immersive that you kill a bear and you only get one slab of meat. Like, seriously? This bear could feed you for like a week. Like, come on now. It's a deer. Headshot. I'm also, using, I'm also using another mod that increases the animal spawns. Oh, that only... Oh, this one's from the from the Mutant Menagerie mod, so it only dropped one. I need to come up with a compatibility patch for that. Anyway. That's a genuine tactic from hyenas, though. Is it really? Like, are you are you not are you not are you, not, are you like actually not shitting me? Like, do you, do you see that on like the History Channel or something or National Geographic where like they attack the butthole first, does more damage? <laughs> You, you, gotta, you have to cripple their butt first. Sounds legit. Dude, like, go see Moan. Just like, <laughs> let delayed reaction time. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm gonna hide behind this pole. I missed. She's distracted. Got her. Nice. <laughs> that reaction time. <laughs> so, she just stood there for like a whole second. He's like, huh? Must have been the wind. Oh, that's like right in the heart. That was a beautiful shot. Look at that. Right in the heart. Beautiful. Anyway. Take your stuff and sell it. Oh, wait, let me take Simone's stuff as well. There she is. Here. Take some loot. Free caps. And, uh, you can have some, uh, Yagoi meat. Nice. And that. And that. And that. Cha ching Yo, let's go. Bullseye Ben said, Here's something for your boy. Thank you very much, Bullseye Ben. Appreciate the $5. Very kind of you. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> this dude said, shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Nice. You got the, I got the superhero body. Okay, that, that, that's what I use for the, for the Giga Chad. Because I always get so many comments about like, dude, why is your character so caked up? There's a famished right there. Stuck in the doorway. He's a little, he's a little slow. But yeah. So if you all want, if you, if you want to look like Giga Chad, you have to get the superhero body. So you're like, you're like, Extremely muscular. It looks hilarious. Oh, does she have bolts? Let me go check. Let me see. No, no, she doesn't. Does she sell arrows? I don't think vendors sell arrows or bolts. I don't know. Why is there a mar- What the hell? Oh! Don't hit me. Yeah, you better back up. Commonwealth Justice. <laughs> Serving justice on a Mire Lurk. Here, I'm gonna keep on selling this meat as I get it. Oh, that's, wait, this is my stuff, right? Yeah. Damn, Deathclaw's steak goes for a pretty penny. I'll keep it, though. Also, I need a heal. I am uh, low on HP. How's your game not crashing? It was crashing earlier. Literally when I started out the game, it crashed twice in a row because of... Because of this mod for some reason. This mod was crashing my game. I don't know why, but it was. <laughs> but it hasn't crashed since. It's been it's been pretty stable. Surprisingly. Ever since I sorted that out. You, like, most of my crashes now are just from, like... Um... I would say a mod, like, literally, like, missing, ma like, like, something, or something is wrong with the mod itself. 
I, I don't know where I'm going with that. Well, obviously, the game crashes when something's wrong with the mod. But not because I have, like, too many mods installed, but because the mod is just really bugged. I've not had a CTD on this playthrough yet, besides just uh, crashing the game. We don't talk about that. There's a Yago over there. I'm gonna smoke him. Oh my gosh, the EMB effect is making to where I, I can't see. <laughs> the water's way too blue, yeah. Okay, well, the Yago is gone. Right. Let's sneak up on him again. What is that? Is that an angler? Hello, dear. That's an angler. What are you doing over here? Stunted angler. Let's go hunt down this bear. There's a famished over there. Dude, this is literally like... Hold on, guys. If you saw this, this would be like... Dude, are you playing Skyrim? <laughs> Skyrim with... Well, like, okay, I'm wearing the vault suit still, but... Where are you going? Yeah, let's get him, Blowfly. So far, these famished are not very smart. I missed. I don't know where he's going. What the hell? Let's go and discover this place, why not? Nice. Oh, that was so close. Where are they running to? Whoop. Hello, bull rat. Oh, look at that jump shot. That was rad. Oh, yeah. What's going on over there? This looks like a war zone over there. Bunch of floaters. So I can just get a random snipe. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about that. This seems like too much effort to deal with all them losers. Isn't there like. Hold up. Yep. I remember there's a bomb on that door. arrows. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, there's this like lighting effect. Darkens? I don't like that. Just in general, my game seems really dark right now. You think base Fallout 4 is a bit too much 1950s? Yeah, a little bit too much. They definitely changed up the aesthetic from the older games, which is exactly why, you know, I prefer mods like this that change it. Change it up a little bit, because it just gets old. And it just, it, it just looks, I, I understand that's the whole point. I'm trying to make it look like a 1950s retro futuristic game, which is cool. But like, damn, they went a little bit too far in Fallout 4. Especially with the buildings. The buildings and the cars look absolutely goofy. It would be nice to see like what a Fallout game would look like. If they kept all the same lore and everything and the same factions and all that. But just gave it like a modern aesthetic. It would just look better. It would make it feel more gritty too. You know? Gritty. Saying gritty sounds funny. <laughs> Liquor. Let's get this loser. I missed. What is it? What kind of move was that? We got a cha-ching. Hold up. Oh, that was a headshot. Nice. <laughs> His name is Dante Megadeth. What a dope name. You take a mortal man. You put him in control. Anyway. He said... He donated... Wait, what is that? 5,000 CLP? 
What is COP? I don't know, but it looks like a lot of money because it's gold. I'm going to Google that real quick. While I'm doing that, he said, uh, What kind of Skyrim is this? Have you played Days Gone? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's Chilean pesos. Dope. That's six, six dollars. Anyway, thank you for the 5,000 Chilean pesos. That's dope. But, uh, this is, this, this is Skyrim with guns, but without guns, because I'm using a bow only. <laughs> and, uh, no, I have not played Days Gone, actually. I should, because I, I would definitely like the game. I've, I've seen people play it before. I've seen gameplay of it. Looks, it looks like a cool game. Not one of those games you play forever, but you play through, like, once or twice. Like, okay, that was fun. You know, it's one of those games that seems like it'd just be, like, a one-time experience. I should probably buy it. I play too much Fallout. Let's see. Using NACX, turn off adaptation. Okay, is that what causes it? Is it in the special effects? I turn off quite a few things here. Is it F? No. Brightness. Visual settings? Adaptation? Off. Oh, it's still, it's still doing it, though. See, look. If I look here, it's brighter. If I look here, it's darker. Look here, brighter. Darker. Brighter. Darker. Maybe it's just the ENB. I don't know. I guess I can turn it back on, then. Uh... I do have the ENB patch enabled, right? I should. Yeah, it's on. Wait, where's the... I forgot what the adaptation effect was. See, okay, if I press it... Okay, it just makes it brighter overall if I do this. And I do want my game to be a little bit brighter because it's just super dark right now. I don't want a vignette. How do you even pronounce that? It's like... Vin... Vinay? Every, like literally half the words are half the letters are silent. I like I, I like just saying Vignet because it's funny, <laughs> just to piss people off. <laughs> Vignet, <laughs> or you can say Vignetti. Disable all that stuff. Let's just go with that. It's still doing it though. Wait, let me see. Is it the ENB? I, okay, it's just the ENB then. Actually, maybe I can turn it off in the ENB settings. Dude, the game looks so bad without the NB. Look all, this looks even more depressing. There's zero color. Zero color. Oh, there it is. ENB adaptation. I just like turn this off. Uh how do I turn this off? Default? Oh no, that makes it even worse. I don't know, man. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> I don't even need to go into Lexington. I can just run straight to the... I'm going to run straight to the Cambridge Police Station so I get that new bow. You played Outer Worlds? Yeah, I played Outer Worlds, actually. I played it because, uh... You know, Obsidian made it. I'm like, oh, dude, let's see what Obsidian is up to. It was, all, it, was it was pretty good. You know, it was alright. It definitely doesn't have the same replayability as Fallout. Though, like New Vegas, obviously, is way better. No brainer. The gameplay was pretty decent. Of course, I didn't like the goofy scaling. It felt kind of like Borderlands in some aspects. And Borderlands is fun, but you know, if you, if you guys saw my last video, you, <laughs> I, I just despise shooter games that have that really insane damage scaling. You just have to constantly grind for new gear. It's annoying. The yeah, Outer Worlds was Outer Worlds was all right. I enjoyed it. I didn't have anything. I don't have anything. Like, I can't really hate on the game too much. I just wish it was bigger in scale. Like, it seems like it's such a short game. There's really not, mu not much to do. You know? Are they coming out with a sequel at some point? I might play that. I didn't even play the Outer Worlds DLC. I just played through. I was like, oh, oh that, was, that was an alright game. Okay, cool. I was like, okay, back to Fallout. 
Like, if, you, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play a superior game and then go launch up Fallout New Vegas. I'll have to help uh, Helen dance, fend off the ghouls. I'm not gonna actually go do the arc jet mission, though. No, that's too much. I want to see how much damage a bow does to robots. Because I did make it to where, like, armor is a lot more effective now. My game certain to stutter quite a bit. I got 100 FPS, it says. What the hell? A bunch of floaters over there. Yep. Are they attacking a cow? I think they're attacking a Brahmin over there. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, time to go to Cambridge. Maybe I should quick save. I haven't saved in quite a while. Oh, that's liquor, right? What the? That's a weird bug. It's happened several times so far. Oh, I can sprint to cancel. I mean, it doesn't even matter because using the bow doesn't even drain stamina. Or action points. Action points. Damn. Uh oh! I forgot about that. Oh god! I like how late the oof came in. <laughs> Alright, that was the second death. I, Dude, that happens, to me, that happens to me so often. Even though I play this game so much, I, I always forget about the mine placements. Very often. Even though the mines literally have giant... I don't know about giant, but they, they're literally just sitting there on the road. And they have like glowing lights on them. I miss them every time. <laughs> that was a big bro moment right there. I'm glad I quick saved right then. Or else I would have gone I would have to go way back. See he just did it again. Weird. I'm gonna have to look at the ground everywhere I walk. Can I jump up in here? <gasps> Let's go. He said, Uh-oh. Here comes the liquor. Oh no, run away! <laughs> he got him. Oh! Whoa, he dodged that! One, two, three. Oh no. Can he go upstairs? Is he too... He can go up the stairs. He can go up the stairs! No, he's, he's dumb. He's trying to sprint at me. <laughs> he's just running in a straight line straight towards me. His pathing abilities are not very advanced. <laughs> Wish you ran the dumb, your dumb brain. That was silly, dude. Just one lick from that dude took away half my health. That's pretty brutal. Give me that back. Send ammo soon. Interesting. That's why I'm using a bow. I can reuse my ammunition. I missed. Nice, right in the neck. That was right in the skull and it didn't kill him, look. Look at this. A little bit too slow. Whoa! That's too fast. <laughs> look how goofy he looks. Huh? Must have been the wind. <laughs> Why is he backing up? Backing up. Backing up. Oh! He tricked me. Nice. All these ghouls are just bugged out. Look at this one. He's stuck in the little... 
UTV thingy right here. Oh, that was mine. It's just my arrow. Did y'all see that? What the? That's a little bugged out. I might have to fix that. Bro, I need to make sure I'm... Oh, no. Oh, right in the face! Oh, that was beautiful. I hit that hyena so hard, he just went out of combat mode. Nice. It's an exploder. Nice. Oh! Damn, that's a powerful arrow. <laughs> what? Is it just... It seems like the ghouls are kind of bugged out. Why is he so slow? It looks like the ghouls are kind of bugged. I might have to try and fix this, because he's just like standing still almost. Probably some kind of mod. Might be immersive movement that's messing with it. Also, that truck is bugged out. Oh no. Oh no. Invisible arrow, go. Run back the stairs. Ooh. Got him. Come to me. Come on. Oh, is there two of them? Oh god. Use the same strat. Haha, <laughs> I got him. You're lucky stuck. <laughs> See, using a, only a bow forces you to think outside the box. Look at this crazy angle. I have to do jump shots on him to get this dude. Oh. Just did it again. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> They're all just dead on the staircase here. Man, I love cheesing the game. It's very fun. I'll go back. I should probably assign this to a hockey. Let's give it like nine. Bro, just like Warzone. <laughs> it's pretty dope, though. I should do a playthrough like, can I beat Fallout 4 modded into a Warzone Battle Royale? Just have nothing but Call of Duty mods. A lot of people would hate that. I get so many angry comments like, Bro, you just made it into Call of Duty, how dare you? I think... I lost... I, I, I'm gonna have to change my load order. The lots are messed up. Oh god. Run away. There do be quite a lot of liquors here, though. Did I kill him? What? I guess I did. I was just not hitting him. There we go. Oh god. Two hits and look at that. Can't get me. Yep, he can't get me. <laughs> no! He got me! He just <laughs> What? There's no way. He's cheating. Oh, I just realized my uh Hold up. My little scrolling thing for the donations isn't working. I'll have to fix that real quick. But damn, death number three right there for my liquor. Get that crazy range on me. Let me try and fix that overlay. It's like stuck right now. It does that sometimes. I don't know why. It's kind of kind of cringe. Give me a second. Uh. Where's this at? I for gore. Is it working now? Okay, I saved it. It should be work. 
It should be working now. Is it not? What the hell? Hmm. Give me a second. It should be working. Weird. I'm going to update it again. I don't know. If it's stuck, it's stuck. <laughs> Weird. I'll worry about it later. I'm just going to get to the police station. I'll be done for the day anyway. Oh, wait. I forgot. I need to go back and kill all those... Kill all them shits again. God. That is an annoying bug. Bruh. 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 How many shots did you just eat? Hello. Oof. Bruh. Come on. What is he doing? He's moonwalking on me. He just hit me with the backhand, too. He moonwalked and hit me with the backhand. That's funny. It's very advanced technique. Look at this he's all bugged out over there. These ghouls are not acting very. Oh god. These ghouls are not very aggressive. They're just kind of just walking. They just be kind of walking though. Look at that one, he's just standing there. Easy kills. That's bugged. I'm gonna stay up here if you guys don't mind me. Oh lord. He's got two liquors on him. Good luck. Now this is peak gameplay. I'm boy. I'm just whiffing. Boy, I'm just whiffing. Boy, he's like shaking his head around, so he keeps. Maybe I'll just go for body shots. <laughs> he kept on shaking his head around, so he kept on dodging them. Bruh. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I think the ghouls are bugged out. They're just standing still mostly. I'll try and fix that for tomorrow. See how slow they are? There's definitely some mod I installed that. It's probably gonna, it's gonna be immersive fallout that changes their movement speed. Good lord. Are you kidding me? Car just randomly decides to freaking explode. <laughs> That's not even my fault. The car just literally. There wasn't even a warning either. It just <laughs> exploded. Bruh. All right, let's try that one more time. I just want to get that dang bow. Speed run this. I'm just gonna run straight over there. Right over his. Okay. <laughs> this ain't over. Hey, Dies. Oh, Lord. oh no. I'm gonna use parkour. I'm gonna run over there and let Paladin dance do all the work, honestly. It's big brain. Oh, no, he's downed. Dude, there are so many liquors. Oh, no, this can't be good for the economy. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ha, ha. He definitely can't get me up here. There's no way. What is he doing? Oh, my. Okay, I need to get rid of these dudes first. I'm going to die. 
I shall go in this corner and heal. <laughs> it's just, most of this playthrough is just going to be ab me abusing NPC pathfinding. He sh He just killed me with throw up. He threw up on me. He threw up on me and I died. I need to get them explosive arrows, dude. Good grief. You know what? I'm just going to run I'm going to run straight into the police station and see if I, and then get that get that bow and get those arrows. I don't know I don't know if there's any explosive arrows in there, but it'd be better than this bow. That's for sure. So yeah, if you guys don't mind me, I'm just going to waltz on through. Boy, did I I didn't put death in the I didn't put death in there. So far, this is proving to be quite a challenge. Good lord, this shadow bug is annoying. <laughs> I don't mind, man. I'm gonna. Oh, okay, never mind. You have to actually defend the area first before you go anywhere. No, I should use these fire arrows. That'll do a little bit more damage at least. Do something. Stop moving. Give me that. Can't even discern where the target is. I'm just wasting these arrows now. God dang it, Bobby. He's just chilling. That one ghoul is just bugged inside the truck. Oh, they're back for more. I'm also setting Paladin Dance on fire, though, so. Yeah, that's, that's one downside. I don't think he likes me right now. Is he gonna start shooting at me? That would suck. Blow up the car, probably. Oh, yeah, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> nice. That was calculated. Dude, they're still alive? Huh? What the hell? How'd that miss? Uh oh. Whoop. Jeez. Invisible. That went straight through him. There we go. Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad that time. Nice. Beautiful. Flawless. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business? Uh, yep. The way you charged it. Are you from a local? You're a local. Hey, where Libby? Libby, Libby, give your bow. Yep. I'm over there. We're on reading. I've been trying. Uh-huh. Sorry. It Proceed. I've modified the radio tower. Don't we? Our target. We info. What do you... Uh... No, wait. Are they... They're not going to let me in until I complete this quest, right? Ah, oh, I, I forgot about that. No, wait, no. No, they, no, they do let me in before we go, right? Yeah. Okay. You just have to accept the mission. Of course, I'm not actually going to do the mission, though. I'm just going to grab the bow and arrows and leave. <laughs> See ya! Who is your favorite faction? Obviously, the Brotherhood is the most based. Plus, they got the coolest ending because, like, they get their big robot. Legion is superior. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, if you're thinking about this, I mean, the East Coast Brotherhood is pretty powerful. You know, they've got Vertebrates. They've got the Pridwin. They got Liberty Prime. I mean, shoot. I don't think I don't think the Legion stands a chance if they were to face off against the brother, the, the East Coast Brotherhood at least, because the the West Coast Brotherhood in New Vegas, right? They're just trapped in a bunker. They don't really do much. They're just chilling. 
I knew it. I need to get it. Carry it over place. Anyway, I think the bow's over here in the... Uh... Somewhere. Oh! He's healing! Punch him. He was just chilling in the closet the whole time. Tasty. Where is this thing? There it is. Yes. Ooh, broadhead arrow. Oh, yep. See? There's the explosive arrows. Nice. Broadheads. Field points. I'll have to craft some more later. That's a good start. And here's the recurve bow. Nice. So now we got an upgrade. How am I carrying all this? Good grief. Friendship ended with wood bow. Recurve bow is now my best friend. <laughs> no. Let's see, field point. Yeah, I'll definitely need to craft some more of it. Ooh, it's got a sight on it too. That's nice. Very cool. I'll have to find some. I'm going to sell all this junk too. Loot. Grab some junk and I'll be on out of here. What's all this? Head wrap. That's goofy. We all say in the chat here. Go sleep, brain. The strip's coming up. Yeah, four. I know the. Yeah, I've been streaming for a while. <sighs> oh, you see we go up here. I didn't even eat dinner yet. I, I was too busy streaming. <laughs> I'll probably go eat a little, eat a light dinner and go sleep. Anyway, see you later, dance. I'm gonna go out here. And save. What a lovely stream today. A lovely day out here in the Commonwealth as well. Anyway, go and save. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. I'm streaming for quite a while. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. And then tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna fix a few things. I'm gonna fix the ghouls. The ghouls are a little bit bugged out. What else? What else do I need to fix? This is the whole point of playing the like whenever I play the, through the game, I'm gonna be like, okay. After every single PlayStation, I'm gonna be like, okay, I need to fix this now. <laughs> it never ends. Yeah. Incredible load order. Thank you. It is pretty fun to play. It is pretty epic. It's the only way to play to Fallout, honestly. You can't play vanilla. <sighs> Hold up, I suppose I get the, uh... Oh, no, that's right. Anyway, guys, yeah, like I was saying, that's all I got for today. Thanks for stopping by in the stream. I hope you all enjoyed. It was a fun time. <laughs> He's saying go to sleep. I'm, I'm going to go to sleep, okay? <laughs> but um, I'll be streaming tomorrow Most likely I don't think anything's going to prevent me from doing so Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah, it's Friday That's right I'll probably stream In a few hours tomorrow I'll let you guys know in the Discord Yeah, thanks again for stopping by and watching Thanks for all the donations again today too And I will see you guys next time Peace out